Standing your no, night, ten. Here you go, here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, hey. here you go. Here you go, here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. You're so great. Oh, Randy, you're a piece of shit. Well, that's the truth. You're on my poet. You want to have a, uh, I'll let you talk, but if you want, we, we should do a little freestyle battle. I'm kind of in the freestyle mood. I can't rap no more. Uh, I'm not that good, but uh, well, yeah, you're not in a good mood. We won't miss you're hyped though. You got all the energy. I do. I see how you get though. You get that little in you, and it's like you know you gotta. Fuck you, skit, skit, skit. Fuck you, skit, skit, skit. Fuck you, skit, skit, skit. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, hey. here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe We're gonna put him up on the television show Two blocks right here, tatted on your chest And here you are Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe We're gonna put him up on the television show Hey, let me see your face All right, hey. Hey. here you go Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe We're gonna put him up on the television show <laughs> You know, here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, hey. Hey. here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. <laughs> Keep your head up. Hey, ski mask. We know your court date's on Monday, and you're a piece of shit because you abandoned your kid. IP2. Abandoned your Nine. kid. Ten. Here you go. Here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right. Hey. Hey. Here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. You're so great. Oh, Randy, you're a piece of shit. Well, that's the truth. You're on my poet. You wanna have a, uh, I'll let you talk, but if you want, we, we should do a little freestyle battle. I'm oh. kind of in the freestyle mood. I can't rap no more. Uh, I'm not that good, but. Uh, well, yeah, you're not in a good mood. We won't you're miss hyped. You. You're hyped, though. You got all the energy. I do. I see how you get, though. You get that little in you, and it's like, you know, you gotta. Fuck you, skate, skate, skate. Fuck you, skate, skate, skate. Fuck you, skate, skate, skate. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, hey. Here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Two blocks right here, tatted on your chest, and here you are. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, hey. Here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. <laughs> You know, here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We Yo, yo, yo! Welcome, everybody! Okay, I gotta work on that screaming, sorry. All right. So that's gonna be the first thing we'll start off with is not screaming, Emilio. Check. Hello, everybody. Let me just go down the line here and say hi to everybody. I welcome you this evening. It's a Tuesday night. I'm sure there's some pretty good uh, television shows you could be spending your time on right now. So I appreciate you coming and checking out the shit show this evening that's about to go down. All right. So 
I see just Jen. Thank you for coming in. Dave, what's up? Oh, man. I kind of know. Sunaticus. Sunaticus 4. I'll work on that better. Jersey, what's up? Jenny, what's going on? Actually, let me do a little bit of some management stuff here. What? Hold on. Jeez, Louise. Can I do that on here? Hold on. All right. Let me go down the line. I'll take care of that here in a second. Anyways, going down. Jenny, Mr. Former Ski Mask Manager. What's up, brother? Eddie. Super Roofer, welcome. LD, what's up, brother? SoCal, thank you for joining. Going down, going down. What's up, Big Vegas? Candy Kane, how are you? Squirrel Gang, what's up? <laughs> 5150. <laughs> Michaela, I see. Let me just make sure I didn't skip somebody. This thing just kind of went down. No, that looks good. And if I did, I apologize. I'm trying my best here. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Duchess, I see you there. Jenny Lee, I'm going down. NorCal, what's up? Joy, Jenny Lee, welcome, welcome. Mids Plug, what's up, what's up? All right, Simp Mask, thank you for joining. Tammy, welcome. Lady Bathory, thank you for joining. Good to see you. As always, cool. Welcome, everybody. All right. Well, thanks for joining. So um, kind of I'm sure you saw the title of the show. And uh, uh, yesterday I kind of put out a on the community tab a little preview of what the sh show is going to be about. Um, I kind of wanted to start first by kind of giving a summary, quick little just brief, you know, summary about the trip that I went on over the weekend, because um, some of you may not have had a chance to join me um live and some of you may have and that was a shit show on the first day so you might have just not watched me live anymore and i don't blame you <laughs> but uh regardless those vods are up so if you missed it um i tried my best to kind of title them in um uh like parts like part one part two part three um so they still might be a little bit of a out of order but i i think i did my best on that the ones that are like labeled that have the like longest time as far as the time stamp those are going to be the ones where I was actually, you know, um, at the courthouse and then, um, you know, pretty much following the events afterwards that I'm going to kind of briefly go over. So and then some of the other ones are just from like Sunday when I got there and kind of I went around and cruised around downtown Tulsa. So you get to kind of see what I saw and hung around with me. Um, and then like that evening, I kind of had like a little brief summary of the day. So there's probably about like, I think almost 10 VODs total from the weekend, but there's the two most important are on there. And those are the two with the longest timestamp. So if you're going to check at least one or two of them out. Those are the ones I'd recommend starting with first. So anyways, but, um, yeah, so, um, uh, as of you, as you all may know, um, we, we hit our dono goal. And so I want to start off by saying thank you again to everybody that donated. Thank you to everybody that came to watch the show. It was fun. I mean, first off, that was a fun show. Uh, I went back and watched the VOD, and, uh, man, I was laughing. Stoner, is a, he's a funny man. That, that guy's got it going on. So if you haven't subbed to Stoner Scribe, please check out his channel. Uh, he's got a lot of – he does a lot of parody stuff and uh, takes a lot of time. He puts a lot of time and effort into it. So check it out. Give him a sub. Um, he does a lot of cool stuff. Covers all – does parodies of all the different communities and drama. So uh, it doesn't matter what community you're from. I think you'll find something funny on there. We had Landon Tells come on there. Uh, he helped me out kind of like as a guest host. So I really appreciate that. Um, you know, if you haven't checked out Landon, he's been a long-running host of his show and uh, – He's one of the OGs as far as what he does. So um, check him out. So Landon, if you're watching, uh, shout out to you and thanks for helping me. Uh, we had just Jen up in the chat. Um, she was helping moderate the chat and answer questions. So I appreciate her doing that. She's actually here today. Um, she's been, she was over, she was with us over the weekend. So if there's any questions you have, she may be able to answer them because she was following the, the, uh, the live stream pretty much the whole time. Um, and then let's see what else. Uh, we had some surprise guests pop in uh, throughout the show. So, yeah, thank you. That was a lot of fun. But most importantly, uh, we had some donators and uh, uh, a 
specifically one donator that really helped make the trip happen. So that was Saturday night going into Saturday morning. Um, I bought the ticket live on stream once we hit the dono goal. And um, I headed out Sunday evening and uh, I was gone, headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma on the Greyhound bus line. So it was a long trip. I uh, got to Tulsa in the Sunday during the day and um, kind of just settled in at my hotel. And then uh, I, I, I did the bad mistake of trying to start my first live stream one without doing much homework, which that was my fault. So I got a little excited. Um, you know, I, I, I should have, you know, slowed down and made sure, you know, I knew kind of what I was doing as far as my settings and all that. But uh, we got that down now. Uh, I, I think so. But uh, so, yeah, so my first uh, actual live stream was a shit show. I, I, I rented a bird scooter, which that was a fucking bad idea. Uh, I almost ended up wrecking and uh, pretty much would have probably ended up in the hospital or at least, you know, not able to make it the next day to the court hearing, which was the whole reason I was there. So good luck. I, I mean, I, I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was a little shit show. But uh, eventually I, I ditched the uh, bird and uh, I, I got on going into a little tour of downtown Tulsa. Uh, the only bad part is, is there's a lot of tall buildings and a lot of cement. And uh, my I, my connection was set like at the highest setting. So it was just totally scuffed. So uh, it killed the stream a lot and interrupted it. And I had to restart and start. But um, pretty much I just walked around all downtown Tulsa, kind of gave everybody a tour. It was my first time down there. So I was new to it. I had no idea where I was going. I just kind of wandered aimlessly. Uh, we met a couple of individuals that day. Uh, the first one you will see on one of the VODs. I'm glad I was able to capture that interaction. But uh, I was able to meet a very nice gentleman that was just uh, finishing either a bike ride or starting one. And uh, he was able to do a quick interview with us and pretty much – uh, it just went like, hey, have you ever heard of a gentleman that goes by the name of Ski Mask Andy or the Midwest Kingpin? Because uh, supposedly he is known in Tulsa. This is his town, you know. And uh, this gentleman was 26 years old and uh, had lived there all his life. And uh, he said he had never heard of him. As a matter of fact, he said the word Kingpin brought to his mind uh, the Tulsa or what is it? Tulsa King. And uh, I had no idea what that was. And uh, eventually I found out because we actually went to, I guess, a really cool attraction that was, I guess, featured in that show. And now I know what it is. And uh, actually looks pretty cool. I like Sylvester Stallone, so I'm kind of uh, pretty excited to check that out. But, um, yeah, anywho, um, he, uh, that's what he, that's the only thing that rung to his mind when he heard Kingpin, certainly not Ski Mask's name. So uh, I ended up actually interviewing two more people uh, and a group, one of them was a group of gentlemen. I don't think that interaction actually made the VOD. <laughs> so I was just pretty much thinking I was recording all of us and we were live and we weren't. But uh, they were a group of uh, workers down there, pretty stout, big gentlemen. And uh, they said they never heard of anybody like that, as a matter of fact. And I told them, I said, he's actually about my height. And he would probably say he could kick all your asses. These guys, the smallest dude is probably like six foot. You know, these guys are like electricians. Hold on. Let me just make sure my battery says low. I don't know why. Uh, what are we not plugged in? Give me one second. Uh, we ain't starting with that shit. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I guess that wasn't plugged in. All right. So we'll take that one out. We'll plug this one in. And all right. We ain't no running no scuffed desktop, desktop stream. That's for sure. Oh, and uh, the hat is just in ski fashion tonight. I don't wear a hat like this on a regular basis, please. All right. So uh, anyways, uh, back to the story. So, yeah, the uh, gentleman uh, laughed when I said that, you know, gen you know, that's that's how tough this dude is, you know, and uh, he's my size. So anyways, but uh, that was pretty much my interaction for Sunday. There was quite a bit of an interesting last one with a gentleman that you'll catch on one of the VODs. Um, I don't want to really get into it. It's just kind of weird. I will say I I did think he was. It did cross my mind, a ski mask shooter, bro. I, I honestly thought I got fucking gotten, dude, but uh, it did end up being one. So anyways, so that was a, that was Sunday. So uh, Monday morning was D-Day. And um, so I showed up to the old Tulsa County Courthouse bright and early Monday morning. And uh, court started at 9 a.m. for Mr. Old Ski Mask Andy. Um, 
<clears throat> apparently, I guess he was running his own live stream um, before I started mine. I was just listening. And uh, he was like, you know, I don't know if he was, I don't know. Well, we're going to get into this, but I don't know whether he was really getting ready or what. But uh, long story short is he was just, you know, live streaming to his own audience and pretty much saying, hey, yeah, I'm going to, you know, end it here. Or, or he left it going on, but he did say he was leaving to jump in the shower and get ready, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, uh, it's about, uh, let's see, 820. And uh, I was outside. I was planning on either, uh, you know, waiting for him outside of the courthouse to get you know, uh, the interview um, or just doing it inside. It started getting kind of cold. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather do it inside. And there was a pretty long line forming. So I knew if I was going to actually want to get in inside the uh, courtroom and listen to the hearing, I was going to have to get in line. So I just jumped in line and um, I'm glad I did because it was probably about, that was 820. I probably got into the courthouse around like quarter till. So it was, it was about a 20, 25 minute wait. So um, I got I, I was in the what they called not courthouse or courtroom. Court, so I was in the courthouse, not courtroom. So there is like a big lobby. OK, so um, that's where I was hanging out at. And that's where media and anybody's allowed. Um, you're allowed your cell phones up there. You're allowed to record in that area. Um, you can be on your phone. It's it's actually a public access area because not only is that a courthouse, it's a public building. They have the uh, and you'll find out here in a little bit why they actually have like the county clerk off clerk's office there. Uh, you can pay your electricity bill there. So uh, there's a lot of other public services that are accessed there. This is uh, which is kind of interesting because uh, the courthouses I'm used to, they're just specifically a courthouse. But this one was kind of like a, a hybrid, you know, I had both, you know. Uh, of those buildings versus usually you have like a city building with all those other services and then your courthouse. So there's a huge main lobby and that's what they call the public access area. And uh, there's some hallways from there and that's what leads to the courtrooms. So uh, I found which uh, the room number, which was 149, courtroom 149 is actually right off the main lobby. So it was going to be pretty easy to get the interview uh, if he was going to come in because he had to go right in through the, the public access area. OK, so um, I was waiting there and um, I guess apparently he didn't show up. Obviously, um, the uh, the court started at nine o'clock, you know, on time and uh, I was outside. So and obviously wasn't there. So I wasn't going to sit in on the court. Uh, I did peek in through the uh, when they finished, I guess, the first session. I kind of peeked out like around the corner and uh, there was quite not a lot of people. I'd say there was maybe about 10 individuals in there. So. Again, I, I, it's a uh, criminal misdemeanor court, so uh, there could be a range of things to be heard there. So uh, after you know seeing that ski mask didn't show up, uh, we uh, we went to our next uh, project uh, for the day, uh, and we're going to discuss what happened as far as what you know what I've heard, uh, what's been rumored, what's been alleged as to why he didn't show up. But um, we did go from there. Uh, luckily, um, the county clerk's office was there because what I was going to do was uh, obtain some of the records for this case uh, through a Freedom of Information Act request. And uh, that's done at the county clerk office. And we were lucky that it was actually in the same building. It's actually right around the corner. So uh, I had to just right around the corner and up some escalators. So uh, we just took the escalators up. I had everybody on live. Walked right into the county clerk's office. Uh, we talked uh, to a nice gentleman who um, pretty much all we had to do was just give the case number. Uh, didn't have to present an ID. Um, and uh, from that, he printed out all the information that's allowed through that request. Um, he didn't even charge me for the paper, which they, they had a sign that says they charge per page. So much appreciation. Uh, that was kind of nice. Saved a couple of bucks. So uh, we got those records, and that's what we're going to go over this evening. That's pretty much the uh, main focus of tonight's show, um, or not even a show. It's a review. You know, uh, show is kind of like what we did last time, and we're going to have one of those here pretty soon. We're going to talk about that here later. But, uh, yeah, so as soon as we got that, uh, those records, uh, I wanted to get the uh, body, uh, excuse me, yes, the body cam footage from that uh, incident as well. And uh, that you can't obtain, obviously, at the county clerk's office. That has to be done, actually, at the arresting agency, which in this case was uh, going to be at the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. So uh, we stopped at one office that was actually kind of behind the courthouse. And uh, they were doing, I guess, a prisoner transport at the time. So the doors were locked and you couldn't come in. 
So instead of waiting there, we just decided to move on. Um, we we're actually going to walk over next to the federal courthouse and check to see if there was any federal or excuse me, paperwork uh, available for ski mask Andy. But and on the way there, there was actually another um, uh, which I was probably the, actually the main downtown um, county sheriff's office for Tulsa. So we walked right into there, uh, talked to a very nice uh, uh, female sheriff and uh, requested the information. Um, she pretty much told us we had to uh, do it through a, an application, which is the same you can do online. Um, she seemed kind of busy, so I didn't want to push it, you know, and, and I don't mean like push it, like being rude. It was just, you know, I could have sat, asked for the form and sat there and filled it, but you weren't going to get the body cam footage that day. So uh, I, I just decided I'm, we're going to do that online. And she even said that if we do it online, it'll go directly to the person that gets it versus if we fill it out there. Pretty much it sounds like she just throws it in a basket and, you know, hopefully the person that's in charge of, you know, pulling that information out, um, you know, gets it. So um, we're going to start that request uh, this week for that body cam footage. Um, so after that, we walked over to the federal building and um, we walked in there. Um, we were met by some very, uh, very, you know, serious looking gentlemen. Uh, very cool, actually. Uh, you know, it says no weapons. So I asked them because I did have Mace on me if I was okay to come in with Mace. And they said, sure. I asked them if I could come in with the live stream. They said, sure. And uh, they said, the only thing is, is to go into the building. I had to check in and that required me giving my ID, which I didn't have a problem with that. But I had to leave all my stuff there because remember I checked. Well, I didn't tell you, but I had already checked out of the hotel. So I had all my gear and stuff. So I wasn't really comfortable with leaving all that stuff just to go into a building and maybe uh, you know, being able to pull records because we don't know yet as far as how far that investigation's gone and if they're going to, you know, what records would be available. Because if they haven't indicted yet or, you know, it's there's probably not much they can give to the public, obviously. So uh, but we were going to check and see. Um, so uh, the gentleman was really nice. He told us what we needed to do if we came back next time and what we couldn't bring and what we could bring. So uh, we said bye and we walked out of there. So that pretty much ended the, uh, you know, morning half of the, uh, you know, court area, you know, visiting pretty much what I had already planned and intended to do uh, after the hearing because I wasn't leaving till later that afternoon. So I had a lot of time to one, you know, do that and to kind of finish exploring around town. And that's what we did. So after we left the federal building, uh, we went over to the, um, let's see. It was, uh, I, I, I didn't know at this time, I was just kind of walking down around a little bit the area. And then somebody suggested to go to the uh, center of the universe exhibit or pretty cool little thing. And we checked that out. And that's actually one of my VODs. Um, you know, it's just kind of a place where you can, go, not kind of, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a natural anomaly that, you know, your voice changes just walking over this certain area. Um, so it's pretty interesting. You can Google search it, check that out or watch the VOD. Um, and that was pretty much it. Uh, I, I ended the day or excuse me, the afternoon, um, having some lunch with everybody and just kind of recapping then a little bit of the day. And, uh, I headed back home. So, uh, that was my, uh, you know, pretty much Sunday and Monday, uh, you know, uh, weekend, uh, as far as itinerary and, uh, you know, Sunday was an adventure and Monday was, was business. That's what we were down there for, you know, was to, uh, get the interview and 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 investigate more about what really went on and uh, that's what we're going to go over this evening and uh so i appreciate everybody sticking in and listening to summary i know that's the boring part now we're going to get into the uh why we're here uh so <clears throat> without further ado let's get into that so um let's see here i'd like to just address a, just a few things really quick before i get into this uh as i was heading back on the bus you know i was just kind of tuning into the tubes and kind of listening to see what everybody's talking about. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I made the mistake of tuning into Mr. Ski Mask Andy's channel. And I say that because I lost a lot of brain cells that night listening to him and his little wicked witch uh, little ladies there. And uh, I mean, it affected me today. I was like spaced out all day, man. I, I, I fucking fried my brain listening just 30 minutes of this So. Uh, please, I, if you haven't listened to them, don't because uh, you will lose brain cells. So anyways, while I was listening to their little conversation, these little yahoos are all trying to figure out a way and rile up each other to uh, pretty much accuse me of being a stalker. OK, and a harassing ski mask, Andy. So let's address that really quick. <clears throat> so first off, um, 
there's nothing wrong with a person taking a vacation, visiting, driving through any town of the United States of America. OK, so if I decide I want to go to Tulsa for a weekend, I have every right to. It's not ski mask town. It doesn't mean just because I have a conversation with ski mask through a panel chat or I make a video that, oh, man, I'm going down to the harass him because I went to Tulsa. He's not even from Tulsa. OK, he's from a fucking suburb of Tulsa. That's about a 20 minute drive from Tulsa. OK, I hung out in downtown Tulsa. So if you want to even try to go there, I wasn't even in the same city as that numb nuts. OK. And second of all, like I said, I can go anywhere in the fucking United States as I want. All right. Third, you little yahoos trying to say harassing. <laughs> I don't know if anybody got to listen to ski mask scream and rant and rave for about three days or not three days. Let's see. Um what, starting, I guess, that morning? So, uh, yeah, well, three, I mean, pretty much three days going on to Monday, but he started the morning when the ticket bought. That dude pretty much threatened my life. He said he was going to kill me on, on live stream. I, this is all taped, man. So if you're watching this, Bucko, uh, don't don't think you, you know, just because you took down the VODs, you know, let me just tell you this. Thank you for everybody that clipped all that and sent that to me. And Ski Mask, if you think I'm the only one that clips you, buddy, there is an army of people that are waiting for you to slip up. And when you do on your little live streams, it's clipped. And you know what? There's also a lot of other officials that are watching you too, buddy. So don't think you're being smart just because you erase those bots or throw a little in Minecraft after all your little threats. And as a matter of fact, you were so riled up, you didn't even throw your little in Minecraft on half of those threats, okay? So uh, all I said was I'm going down to Tulsa and I'm going to be attending a public hearing down Monday. I never made a threat, never harassed you, never contacted you, nada, okay, nada. So this little, like, I, I mean, that's what I said. My brain was fried at this point because these people can't even, like, you know, just trying to make up a story, accusing, trying to, like, figure out how we can, like, get me in trouble. Oh, man, that that that's just insane, okay? And uh, especially I, when they, they were there on live stream listening to him make those threats. So think how stupid you must be when you're literally trying to say, oh, Ski, you can get him for harassment because he was at your public court hearing on Monday. Yeah, even though you told him you were going to kill him and everything if he came into Tulsa. Yeah, you can get him for harassment, Ski. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. So I, I just wanted to address that. Now, let's just address the stalking part, okay? <laughs> you want to talk about a stalker. Let's start with Ski Mask Andy, all right, who's been stalking his fucking ex-girlfriend, baby's mama, and her family, and everybody affiliated around him for the last fucking year. And when I say stalking, it's serious. So serious, there's a fucking federal permanent fucking stalking order for the rest of your life to stay the fuck away from them, all right? And you're still probably contacting them, so... Yeah, you know what's next, bucko, all right? Ski Mask is a serial stalker, all right? And you ladies that support him and men, whoever, all right, you're fucking sick, especially after what I go over today. I'm going to tell you this. Anybody who donates money to that scumbag, it doesn't matter if you want to watch him. I have to watch him because I have to clip him. So nothing against watching the scumbag, but if you donate money to that scumbag after you see what happened, what, what I'm going to go over today, shame on you. Shame on you. Especially you have children and or you have a family. Shame on you. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But going back to the uh, to the uh, a stalker thing, Ski Mask is a stalker. And you know what's hilarious? You little ladies that were all riling them, ranting them up that evening. Uh, little Mitten Mama, little CC, little Queen K, little Donna Joe, Donna Joe with your little bug eye glasses. Been sitting out drinking them little cocktails too much in that little Florida sun. Little fucking divorcee, nasty ass, wrinkled yahoo. Anyways, those are stalkers. Those ladies are all stage five clingers. Think about it. They spend 12 hours a day in this fucking scumbag's chat room. And when I say in there, they're in there, okay? If you've ever watched his chat, even when he's got 200 people, it's just the same five freaking psychos in there. Literally every three seconds 
Oh, yeah, ski. Oh, yeah, ski. Here's his cash app, ski. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, ski. Okay. So think about that. Those ladies are freaking stage five clingers, dude. They're li literally watching this dude 12 hours a day. And if they have children or a family, whoo, you're a freaking, <laughs> and you're spending all your time with this scumbag. Yeah, let's talk about a clinger, a stalker. Okay, ladies. Jesus. Or men. Again, I'm not just pointing them out because I have no, you know, I've seen some of them come up, but some of them hide their face behind their avatar. So I can't tell if they're a man or a woman. So no, I don't care. So anyways, but uh, that was it. I just wanted to address him and those people because it was just insane. The madness that these freaking nutsos are talking about, you know, trying to accuse me of these things because I decided to visit Tulsa, Oklahoma on a Sunday and go to a public courtroom on Monday if it was so illegal, why was I able to walk right into a courtroom streaming with no problems? There was sheriffs. There was agents everywhere walking right by me, okay? I was hiding shit, all right? The fuck out of here. So anyways, let's get to the to the important stuff. So, and I'm sorry I got a little riled up, but man, dude, it, it, it sucks because I don't think I'm going to get those brain cells back. And you know what? When I was like, getting older, I need some of those. So it pisses me off. All right. Anyways, so, uh, man, I had so much stuff that I actually had to put it on a list. Can you imagine that shit? God damn. All right, so let's see here. Where do we begin? Well, what do you guys want to do? I'll leave it up to you because this is the part that, you know, I want you all to be able to interact. Should we kind of do a brief uh, overview of Mr. Ski Mask Andy's criminal record? which, you know, I do have a VOD or excuse me, that's a video that's I made about that that's been up. Uh, it was one of my, you know, first ones. So maybe if you're a newer viewer, you may not have seen it. And you may not be aware of his criminal record, but uh, we could start there um, with a brief overview of that. Or we could just jump in straight to the juicy part. And I hate to say that, but it's the part about the current stuff that's going on and exposing the big lie that he's been freaking telling for the last year, year and a half about what really happened. So if you want to do a little brief summary about Ski Mask's previous history, throw one in the chat. We're going to do both or not both. We'll, I mean, we can, but if you want to start off with his brief history first, throw one in the chat. If you want to jump right into the, uh, the, the exposing the lie, throw it too. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have a little sip of my power rate so I don't lose my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, voice here. Oh, man, you guys are making this hard, but uh, I, I think I see where we're going with this. And I will just jump into the, the – so let's do this. I'm going to be fair because I did have kind of a little bit longer introduction than I wanted to, and I'm sorry I bored you a bit. So let, let's get right into the uh, the current stuff, and then uh, I'm sure that's going to probably lead into going over a brief summary of his, of his history, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll make it work. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into that. Uh, give me a sec. All right. Here we go. So um, probably most of you are aware of, um, you know, the current charges. If not, I'm going to go over that really quick with you. I'm actually just going to read what's exactly what I got here. So exhibit A, uh, pretty much, God damn, this, I don't know how you wear this sideways ski mask. Oh, you know what? That's what's fucking killing your brain cells, dude. This thing's squeezing your head like this, like, dude. I'm getting a headache wearing this like this. Let me just put this here. Hold on. All right. Here we go. All right. There we go. Anyways, so Exhibit A, pretty much I got two things. One is going to be the court records. The second is the police report. Uh, most of his court records are already available online, and those are ones most of you have probably seen. Um, what I have here, let's see. Um, this is just going over the count. So, yeah, the court records is something you can see, but um, – the way they actually um, have the counts, um, excuse me, let me see. I don't think these counts are actually stated like that. So, yeah, we'll, I'm going to just read it to you because even when you read the counts out on the uh, Internet, it's just like a brief. It's like a it just says like count and then like the uh, pretty much like the felony code or the misdemeanor code. So this actually kind of gives you like kind of more of a description as far as the count and how it, um, you know, uh, pretty much works into what he did. OK, um, this would probably be exactly what they would read to the jurors. So without further ado, uh, this is count one. OK, 
Uh, this is when the incident, now some of you are new, this is his most recent incident, uh, not recent, excuse me, in, most recent in Tulsa. Uh, there's another incident, and we can talk about that later, that's happened afterwards. I mean, you're, you're aware of that, but this is most recent in Tulsa, okay? This is the incident where uh, his brother uh, supposedly came to the house in the morning, so early morning, came over to have coffee with the parents. Uh, guess the brother parked in the driveway. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with where he, you know, how the their houses or whatever it's pretty much like a, a duplex type of house so it's if you can imagine like a regular house it's split in half okay so one half is one family lives in that and rents that half or lives or buys it whatever another family lives in the other so it's pretty much a standard size house that's split in half okay um so pretty much what would be like a two-car garage one garage is for one side of the people that live on that side and one is for the other not a lot of room okay so I guess, you know, ski mask fashion, he must own, that's his driveway or whatever. So apparently his brother just parked in the driveway. Ski mask must have been going, getting his morning blunts and energy drinks, you know, at the come and go. And, um, you know, brother just parked, you know, hey, it's my family's driveway. I can park wherever I want. Parks, goes in, having coffee with mom and dad. Uh, I guess ski mask comes in, you know. <laughs> What the fuck? You know, sees his brother's vehicle parked in the driveway. You know, no big deal. I just, you know, regular person would just, mm -mm, you know, park in front of the house, put it in. No, ski mask fashion, you know. What the fuck? Fuck that. That's my driveway, bitch. You know, probably, you know, almost slams into the brother's car, you know, parks his shit box right behind it, runs inside the house. Um, Apparently, and we're we're gonna we're gonna you know I'm gonna go over exactly what happened, but this is a kind of little brief reenactment. Runs inside the house, um, just runs right in in the kitchen. You know, brothers, you know, probably in mid mid conversation, drinking coffee with the family, comes flying around the corner, sucker punches the brother, fight starts. Um, father supposedly breaks up the fight. Uh, ski mask goes running out the door. Mother follows him to shut the door as she's yelling at him to get out. And um, we'll get to what happened. And what happened is his ski mask has been lying about what happened. OK, he's claimed what we're going to go over right now never happened, as a matter of fact. Um, he's actually uh, my my little bro from another mother, um, NJ Municipal Courts. Um, that's another uh, person. It's a totally separate guy. That's not me. Um, he's another clipper. Uh, that's part of the uh, NJ Municipal Courts family, but his is NJ Municipal Courts. He's got his own separate clipping page, so if you haven't visited him, check it out. But he's the one that posted that video that I shared of where his brother, pretty or excuse me, where Ski Mask is telling the story of what happened. So, uh, you know, if you watch that and after what you're going to hear, you're going to see it's completely a lie. Uh, one, about how it went down, and two, about what happened to to to, uh, to his mother. OK, so here we go. Count one. So, you know, after this all happened, of course, excuse me, uh, you know, the brother's injured, the, the mother's injured, police come. So here we are. <clears throat> Count one. David, or excuse me, I, I, I can say names. So before uh, let's let's start off with that, because uh, these are public records. I can't say names. All right. Because I already know all these little crazy women are already going to be riling up. Oh, that's illegal. He, he can do that. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I was actually watching earlier. He actually had some pretty smart ones. Shout out to you if you're in here. Uh, he actually has some some smart viewers. They're not all dingleberries that actually were straight up telling him. And he, he even acknowledged it that, yeah, everything he did, you can do. It's all legal. Totally. One hundred percent. So shout out to you. And uh, I, I think he, he, he recognized that he wasn't going to win that fight because he kind of just moved on, on and changed the subject. As a matter of fact, what's even funny is I'm sure most a lot of his viewers probably saw and actually read just that little paragraph. They haven't even heard the whole story and they ditched that loser. OK, because this morning he went on and instead of his usual two to three hundred little viewer count, he was under a hundred, which like I could said I'm not trying to do viewer count shit and that but that's his little thing right he always likes to brag about viewer count and all that shit money and viewer count money and viewer count well his viewer count was down and he knew it you know i don't want to know why because if it was anything else he would have ripped into like you know oh that's bullshit oh that's a lie those people are trying to make me look bad like you know whatever 
but because it's a police report and he knows there ain't no talking that out. He was trying his best to avoid anybody like trying to discuss that or, you know, anything like that. So, yeah, well, a little too late now, bucko. So here we go. <clears throat> so anyways, what I'm saying is I can't say names, but just out of the respect, because I'm a nice motherfucker, I'm not. And not because of you, because of your family. All right there, bucko. And everybody already knows your scummy ass name, so it doesn't matter. But we're just going to call you uh, Mr. Scheme Mask. I would say scumbag, but I'll be nice to you tonight. So <clears throat> Mr. Okay, so count one. All right. Mr. Ski Mask, on or about February 9th, 2022, in Tulsa County, state of Oklahoma, and within the jurisdiction of this court, did commit the crime of aggravated assault and battery, a felony by unlawfully and willfully and wrongfully commit an aggravated assault and battery upon the person of one mother Ski Mask by then and there pushing her about the body with his body with force and violence. Did you hear that? Pushing her about the body with his body with force and violence and did their, and excuse me, and did thereby inflict grievous wounds and great bodily injury upon the body of the said mother of ski mask Andy with the unlawful intent to do her corporal hurt and great bodily injury. Mm. Poor mama. Yeah, exactly. Poor mama. Count number two. Mr. Ski Man Scandy, on or about February 9th, 2022, in Tulsa County, state of Oklahoma, and within the jurisdiction of this court, did commit the crime of assault and battery, a misdemeanor, by unlawfully, willfully, and wrongfully commit an assault and battery upon the person of one ski mask brother by then and there punching him about the face with force and violence and with the unlawful intent to do him corporal hurt and bodily injury. So, um, and if you guys, you know, if you can't understand or hear that, uh, I'll probably be posting these. I'm just, like I said, to be respectful of the family, uh, just like the, uh, the the paragraph that I posted from the police report yesterday on the community page. I'm going to go ahead and blank everything out so that way you guys can read through it, okay? And that way, uh, you know, people can't say, I am just made this up and, you know, I'm just reading something from the air, okay? So those were the the counts. That was the court paperwork there. Uh, those were, you're not going to see on the internet like that, okay? Okay, that's the actual count that would be read just like said to a jury. Now, count one, the felony, that was actually uh, dismissed, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Ski Mask came on saying, oh, my lawyer got exonerated, isn't it? No, no, that's not why. The reason it was dismissed is because the two witnesses that were supposed to come, uh, Mama Ski and Papa Ski, to testify against them, they didn't. And you know what's really crappy about that is I understand, uh, you know, kind of that motherly love, you know, but it's it's really it sucks that their son got them put in this position that they had to pretty much almost be put in. Let's just put it this way. If the judge wanted to be really mean, he could put those two and find them in contempt of court for not showing up because they were served an actual signed by the judge subpoena, which means you have to show up to testify. And if you don't, you know, answer the door or you don't testify and the judge really wanted it, you know, file contempt of court they could i'm sure the judge is not because he's probably gonna understand the reason that these people didn't come is maybe because their son's very violent and they're scared to come okay because it happens a lot happens a lot in domestic assault cases on women and men you know from the other party whether it's the woman or the man okay that you know people change their minds they don't show up to court okay happens all right that's the only reason those charges were dropped and you you're lucky that your parents love you that much, Ski. You are lucky. That, or are they really being held hostage? Are they being pretty much domestically held hostage in a really fucked up way, you know? Are they afraid to ask you to leave the house? Uh, are they afraid to ask you to, you know, kind of, you know, hey, you're 38. You mind finding a job and kind of just doing your own thing? Or at least if you're going to stay, can you help pay the bills? Because, you know, you see how you are just with me going to, Tulsa to visit, you threaten my life. 
I could just imagine what you would do to your parents to ask when they ask you to leave or kick rocks. So I have a feeling there's a little bit more as to why your parents didn't show up to, to court, but that's the only reason that felony got dropped. And I'm going to tell you folks, he's really lucky that it did. Um, and, and that's why I'm saying there, I think there's a little more to this because he knew from the start that that's the, that's the ticket to the big slammers, that felony. Cause old ski mask here has got a huge felony record. And guess what? Except for one of those, it's all assault and battery. And a lot of them are a domestic assault and battery. So when you have a history of assault and battery, especially domestic assault and battery, and then you have another domestic assault and battery, and this is like your sixth felony, okay? And it's, you're going to jail for a while, a long time. So for that to have been dropped, you, you know, it, it's kind of like the old days, right? When the, you the mafia kingpin guy, right? And the, they, they kind of send the guy over to your parents' house to kind of give you the message not to show up to court. So who knows? Just a theory, right? So anyway, so right now the count that's being heard in court and uh, what we were going to, you know, actually sit in and 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 listen to. Uh, and I, I like I said, obviously I wasn't going to be able to bring the live stream in. So at that time I had a notebook and paper. I was going to transcribe everything as best as I could. And then, uh, you know, kind of like I am now dictated to you afterwards. So, um, you know, uh, that, that, that would have been the misdemeanor and that's the misdemeanor that he's being charged now for. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, so apparently I guess the only thing he was right with was that, uh, the, the only char charge that's sticking now is the one for him assaulting his brother. So kudos, you, you, I guess you, you, you don't tell all lies, buddy, but, uh, the one lie we are going to talk about today is the one where you've told everybody that you never touched your mom. Okay. That you would never do anything like that. Oh, that ski mask. Ski mask is a nice guy, right, ladies? Right, gentlemen? Right, all you psycho people. And you know what? I'm gonna give some, I'm gonna give a break to some of the newer viewers that haven't been following him because he's a good comment and I get it. I get it, okay? People do get conned, all right. And as a matter of fact, there's a lot of people that have known him for a while that, you know. Have, have left him because of a lot of things, okay? And 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 mainly because he's personally attacked those people, okay? He's a bad, bad individual. I mean, if he's willing to do what he did to his mom, what do you think he's going to do to one of these lady viewers or male viewers or somebody that, you know, stops paying them or pisses them off? He's going to do like he does to everybody else, dox them, show pictures of their family, of their children, bring up their dead parents' obituaries, you know, that's a sick individual. That's a disgusting individual. All right. To have those pictures on your phone and be like, I mean, could you imagine his album? You know what my album has in my phone it has pictures of my dogs, my family, my niece, my nephew. OK, my friends of things I do. OK, not a bunch of little fucking weird looking kids that you have all photoshopped and with your little fucking ha 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 written on it and random photos of people and fucking dead people you sick fuck. And then you want to call people sickos and weirdos. And then your fucking audience wants to call the same thing. People weirdos and eh, fuck off. So anyways, um, you know, that that's what he's that's what's sticking his count to. All right. So let's move on. So we're going to go to the police report. We're going to discuss the big lie here. The lie, like I said, he's been telling everybody, you know, not Mr. Ski Mask, right? Yeah. Well, here we go, bucko. Here we go. So here's the funny thing, all right? This motherfucker, you know, after he found out that I pulled this the, the court documents, all right? <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I already I, I already know what he got. So the, the lawyer already gave it to me. It's just one paragraph. It's just one statement. Now, either you you don't got what, you know, what I have, or you do obviously know which is what it is. You know what's here, and you're just lying still. Why would you lie when you know it's it's about – I'm about to read the whole thing, dude. But I get it, okay? That's all you know. So here we go. So let's see here. I'm just going to start from the top and read the whole thing. This is the pretty much the incident report. This is the police report, okay? And again, I'm going to post all this as soon as I cross everything out, okay? Uh, which, like I said, I don't have to, but I am because I'm not a dick like that. And that's out of the respect of the family, not ski mask. He's a piece of shit. I could care less about him. All right, so here we go. This is how this looks, okay? I mean, I can put it up here. Yeah, ha, 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 no names. Okay, so it's a document. All right. <clears throat> so it says incident summary. 
And again, I'm use, going to use the kind of same names I was doing earlier, you know, Mama Ski, Papa Ski, Brother Ski, and uh, Dumb Ski, okay? All right. On February, okay, yeah, on February 9th, 2022, at approximately 05, or excuse me, <laughs> 0500 hours, 5 o'clock in the morning, or 0500, say it that way too, the victim, Brother Ski, went to his parents' residence at blah, 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 in blah, 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 in the county of blah, 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 blah. Brother Ski was having coffee with his parents when the defendant came into the residence. Now, the defendant is Ski Mask, okay? When the defendant came into the residence and began yelling at the victim about parking where Ski Mask parks when he visits. Did you hear that? He began yelling at the victim about parking where ski mask parks. Just like I honestly, I don't even remember. I don't think I read this part. I just know how you are, dude. <laughs> so it was just like we said, get out my parking area, motherfucker. All right, back to this. All right. <laughs> Jesus. So began yelling at the victim about parking where ski mask parks when he visits. The defendant then, and I like how they put, you know, even wrote it down like this. The defendant then sucker punched the victim. The defendant continued to strike the victim until their father pulled the defendant off the victim. The defendant walked out of the house and his mother, Mama Ski, followed him to shut the door. As Mama Ski pushed the door, the defendant kicked the door open, causing Mama Ski to fall and fracture her shoulder. Let me repeat that one more time. As Mama Ski pushed the door, the defendant kicked the door open like a fucking ninja turtle right at his mom, okay? A fucking wooden door, you sick piece of shit. Causing his mom to fall and fracture her shoulder. <laughs> Witness summaries, okay? This is going to be from Brother Ski. Brother Ski is the defendant's brother and the son of Mother Ski and Papa Ski. Brother Ski will testify he went to his parents' residence on February 9th of 2022 to have coffee with them. Brother Ski will testify he was sitting with Mama Ski when the defendant was yelling that Brother Ski had parked in his parking spot. Brother Ski will testify the defendant told him he needed to move his vehicle and then sucker punched him in the jaw, causing him to fall down. Brother Ski will testify the defendant continued to assault him until their father, Daddy Ski, was able to pull the defendant off him. Brother Ski will testify the defendant then walked out the door and their mother went to shut the door. Brother Ski will testify he observed the defendant kick the door, causing the door to hit their mother and knock her down. Brother Ski will testify the defendant then fled on foot. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, what, run into the cut? Or run into the cut? Okay. <clears throat> the brother Ski will testify the defendant then fled on foot. Brother Ski will testify he this listen to this, folks. This is the sick part right here. Fucking sick. All right. And, and all for the content and the money, right? For the views, buddy. Brother Ski will testify. He observed a video of the defendant bragging about assaulting him and their mother. Yeah. All for the content, buddy. Now, this is going to be the victim statement from Mother Ski. This is the one that I posted the paragraph of, uh, uh, you know, all marked out on the uh, on my um, summary page. <clears throat> all right. Mother Ski is the defendant's mother. She will testify. Brother Ski came over to see them on February 9, 2022. She will testify she was having coffee with Brother Ski when the defendant came in and began yelling at Brother Ski. She will de testify the defendant struck Brother Ski with the closed fist, knocking him down. She will testify the defendant continued 
to hit Brotherski until Papa Ski pulled the defendant off of him. Mama Ski will testify she went to shut the door after the defendant walked out. She will testify the defendant kicked the door and it hit her, knocking her down. Mother Ski will testify she has one, two, three fractures in her right shoulder that requires surgery. Let me repeat that one more time. And I'm sorry, Mama Ski, this is disgusting, but Jesus Christ. Mama Ski will testify she has three fractures in her right shoulder that require surgery. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't do anything, right, Ski? And you know what's really shitty about that? After you fucking ninja kicked the door into your fucking mom, knowing she was right behind you, you piece of shit. You fucking ran like a little bitch while your mom was on the fucking floor with a fucking fractured shoulder. You fucking piece of shit, dude. This is going to be Father Ski's victim statement. Father Ski is the defendant's father. He can testify Brother Ski came over on February 9th, 2022. He can testify he heard the defendant yelling at Brother Ski. He can testify he pulled the defendant off of Brother Ski and stopped the assault. Pretty short there, basic. Yeah, let me show you here. Uh, he, one paragraph, that's all it is. One, two, three, four pages is your police report, okay? Now, the rest is just uh, all the information, all his booking information and all that personal information. And obviously, I'm not going to go over that. Um, just to kind of show you, there's a little bit about the booking and report sheet. Um, the Let's see here. The uh, aggravated assault, which is the one on his mom, that's why it was given the aggravated, and that was the felony level. Um, that one was actually a $5,000 bond, okay? And uh, that bond money is still in, air, in the air. Uh, this isn't the same as the $5,000 he claims he paid the lawyer, right? This is somebody, obviously, he got out of jail for this, so somebody bonded him out. Somebody came up with, uh, not five grand, they came up with, what, what is it, 10%, I think, or, or yeah. Uh, it's either 10 or 15%, I think, you have to give up to the bounties. Um, uh, might be 25%, uh, but it's not more than that. I, I think it's either 10 or 15, but it might be 25, but not more than that. So do the math. My head's hurting from yesterday, so I'm not even going to try. But uh, somebody coughed that up. I don't think it was him. So grandma ski or, you know, did, uh, did, did he, uh, again, you know. Beg and plea, beg and plea, because he didn't want to be uh, be in jail with all the big boys in Tulsa County uh, to 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 have the person that he fucking ninja kicked a door into to pull from her fucking savings to bail him out. And you know what? Again, I know there's motherly love, so I'm not going to say shit. But man, what a pathetic little piece of shit, right? Fucking ninja kick your mom a door, and then you're going to go fucking beg her to bond your ass out hmm. just because you don't want to get your ass fucking kicked in jail. <laughs> you guys know what happens to him in jail, right? You guys know, right? Some of you may, some of you not. So ski skis, uh, you know, if you didn't know, he, he, he's a, uh, he's a wannabe. He's a pretender. Okay. And uh, he made the big mistake of marking himself with some ink, serious ink. Okay. Uh, he, he's got those two little Glock tots or whatever the fuck you want to call him on his fucking ugly ass on his chest. And then he's got this stupid Midwest kingpin on his fucking arm, okay? You know, the other shit's all right. You know, that's just normal ratty tatty tat shit. But those tats there, th those are tats that when you walk into a jail with shit like that, people look at you, okay? And if you're not what you're fucking claiming, people are going to step the fuck up to you, okay? So Ski Mask can't go into public. He can't, he can't go into general pop when he goes into jail. He has two options when he gets checked in, okay? A is he either goes into like kind of the process and just figures out some way as soon as they're about to put him in a gen pop to either commits, 
you know, crime, sucker punch a dude. His brothers claim that's what he does. Pretty much he just tries to like, you know, sucker punch somebody while they're like right there in front of a guard or guards. So that way, you know, they're going to just grab them and, and throw them in a protective custody cell or something. That's option A. I don't think he does that a lot. I think the easiest thing and what he did last time is he just, as soon as they're booking him, he says, oh, I don't feel good. I'm crazy. And I think I'm going to hurt myself. You know, we've already seen him pull that stunt before. So I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, when you're used to doing one thing, you're, it's kind of a habit. So I'm pretty sure that's his little schlick is he just pulls the, uh, oh, I, I'm going to hurt myself. So when you do that, what do they do? You know, they put you in a little padded six by six cell. You know, most people would hate that. He probably doesn't give a shit. He's used to living in his fucking bathroom or living in his car. So that's probably nothing, nothing too bad for him. Um, the guy doesn't socialize with people. So honestly, I don't think he gives a shit if he goes out for one hour, two hours a day, because that's all they give you when you're in a PC type of situation or a med type of whole cell. And then for him, because, you know, he's probably hurting a bit because he can't smoke his little, his little, his little mota, nothing against that. You know, everybody jokes and tokes. All right. I got nothing about nothing against the smoking, but a guy like that, you know, that smokes, you know, what, 10, 20 blunts a day. He's going to hurt. He's going to hurt when once he can't get that THC in his body. So he's going to be begging for all of these little med pills that they give him, you know, just like cheap generic Xanax. They don't give him the real shit. All right. They just give him some fairly basic shit just to kind of help his little fucking mind to go to bed. All right. And so he can stuff his little face with hot pockets and ramen noodles all day. So that's all he does. You know, he just lays there and sleeps and fucking stuffs his face with hot noodles and pockets and just waits for his one hour so he can either one call his, you know, ex-girlfriend and harass her from jail or to call his mom and start harassing her and begging her for commissary money because he's running out of hot pockets. You know what I mean? That's the life of, of a jailer for, for a little scumbag like him. Okay. And like I said, you know, most guys would go crazy being locked up like that. You know, one, two hours a day, if they're lucky, eh, you don't give a shit. That's what he is. That's what he does right now. He's just locked up in his bathroom, in his room all fucking day, talking all these fake ass weirdos on his fucking, you know, phone or whatever. So posting pictures of little kids and sick shit. So yeah, they, they fuck with people like him. So he's afraid of jail. That dude can't step into a real jail. And what's funny is he certainly likes to commit crimes to put him in jail. So, you know, what the fuck, you know, if you don't want to go somewhere, then don't fucking commit crimes, you dumb fuck. So anyways, Somebody, you know, somebody got him out of that jail and uh, he's probably lucky. Like I said, I love I wish, you know, and we probably could, to be honest with you. I'd love to see if we could get the, uh, you know, excuse me, on you know, a little candy, the jail calls. Huh. Would you like to hear that conversation between him and Mama Ski? See, you fucking listen to David crying, <laughs> begging, begging or threatening. I could see they're both. I could see him because, you know, you've seen his bipolar. I'm sure he started like, oh, mom, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then switched over to the, you know, if you don't get me out of here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, you know. So whatever. But he got out. He's on bond right now. That's why he's not in jail. That's why he can smoke and joke and do his shit right now. So uh, he's bonded out. So there we go. That That was it. That was the police report. Uh, those were the two police reports. Excuse me. That was the two reports that we got for Mr. Ski Mask Andy. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, for all of you, I mean, like I said, I'm sure most of you knew he was lying. It was bullshit. But if some of you, you know, had given him some little, you know, fucking slither of hope that, you know, he was really telling the truth, you know, mm -mm, he was bullshitting. And, and I mean, not only that, I mean, he even lied about how the incident went down uh, in that one video. I mean, he tries to make himself like he's some fucking MMA fighter. And, you know, he gave his brother pretty much a chance to live and this and shit. Shut the fuck up, bro. You ran out of your house like a little bitch when they said the police were coming. And then you fucking in anger, you fucking ninja kicked the door into your mom, a fucking wooden door into your mom. All right. You kicked it so hard that it knocked her down and broke her shoulder. So that picture... That picture that you see with that tattoo, which is a little kind of the kind of the half of a butterfly, you know, you can't hardly see it. The one where you can see the scar, that's the that's that's the post uh, post surgery tattoo. OK, the one that the, or not tattoo, excuse me, the scar from her surgery, the one that ski mask was denying. That's not his mom and blah, 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 blah. And then I think when somebody when he finally knew that that was it, he tried to say that that was something I don't know what it was, but 
yeah, that was probably pretty serious surgery, okay? Could you imagine fucking fracturing your shoulder in three different fucking places? That was no joke. That wasn't just falling on the fucking ground, bro. And you know what? Think about it, folks. Think about this, right? He already finished, you know, assaulting his brother, okay? His mother had nothing to do with it, okay? His mother's probably just yelling a bit to get the fuck out of her house, which she has every right to, okay? And she's following him out the door, okay? So before, and, and I mean, it don't matter. And, and that's what I'm saying, okay? Because I can already see tomorrow or later, you know, those, I'm sure a lot more people are going to, and I, and you know what? Like I said, no disrespect, okay? If you made the mistake, Hey, don't worry about it. Just move on. Okay. Just at least just don't, don't go back to that scumbag, but you know, don't, 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 don't kill yourself thinking, you know, Oh my gosh, you know, I, I this guy conned me and I should, you know, no, he, he's a scumbag. He does this all the time. He's been doing it for, you know, since he was 18 and up. Okay. So he, he's had a lot of time to practice and um, you know, it, it happens. Okay. He scams a lot of people and a lot of people it takes a you know, something bad happening before they realized it. Okay. But this guy's a bad person. And if you girls and guys and him are going to try to rationalize, oh no, that's not how it went down. You know, the police there, that's lying. And oh, my mom's lying. My dad's lying. My brother's lying. You know, she just fell down. I, I guarantee you he's probably going to say something like, you know, to the tone that like, you know, he, he tried shutting the door and he didn't realize his mom was there. No, no, you, you can already picture it in your head. Okay. Uh, you can already picture it in your head. She's just telling him to get the hell out of her house, right? Get the hell out of my house. And and she's, you know, he's he's walking out or he might even be walking and be, you know, backwards, you know, fuck you, you know, yelling, right? Walking backwards, right? And and the mom goes to close the door. And what does he do? You know, just fucking rocks his fucking fucking leg up and just ninja kicks that wooden door right into his fucking mom, man. You're a piece of shit, bro. To be honest, I'm kind of glad that I didn't read this till I got on the bus. That's all I'm going to say. Man. So, all right. So, uh, you know, that that kind of addresses that. So, kind of going into, you know, what what he does. I mean... Uh, I don't know if, you know, if some of you have seen that video. Um, I like the stream yards. If some, someone wants, you know, come up here in a bit, uh, we can discuss this. If some of you have questions and you want to do it through the chat, we can, but I, I'm open. If anybody wants to come up and talk, we'll do that here in a sec. But, um, you know, just to reiterate a little bit about, you know, who he is, if you don't know, I mean, this guy's record, uh, one, just to disclose, uh, all the records that I have access to, everybody can have access to. It's easy. It's not even, these weren't even things that were pulled through a Freedom of Information Act. This is just all public online access, okay? To access the records in Oklahoma, that's um, done through o Oklahoma State Network Channel, OSCN. If you just type in like Oklahoma criminal record search, it'll pop in. I think it's OSCN, Oklahoma State, Crim yeah. OSCN.net, Oklahoma State Criminal Network, okay? Just type in a first, last name, boop, pops up, okay? Um, it, it'll show that it actually kind of does it pretty easy. It shows all the different counties in Oklahoma, and then any county that has, you know, a record on him pops up, okay? Now, when you do that, you're going to think that, oh, shit, is there more, da you know, Davids? Nope, that's him. That's his record. OK, uh, I don't know what his juvenile record is. Uh, I'm sure he has one. Uh, obviously, that's going to be sealed. They're not available. But I can tell you this. This guy's had a record since the year of 2000. That's what's accessed in public. Do the math. OK, we're in 2023. He was probably about 17 or 18 when that happened. I would imagine. I think he's 17. And uh, so they must have tried him as an adult or he was just been barely 18. So, you know, old Randy Danny's been committing crimes pretty much for the last 23 years of his life, okay? And these aren't like just minor crimes, okay? <laughs> these are felonies, okay? And even the one that are misdemeanors, they're serious misdemeanors, and they're always tied in with a felony. It's like one felony with a misdemeanor. And you know what? He had a lot of breaks, too. He had a lot of felonies that were switched over to a misdemeanor, okay? Um, he was lucky, very lucky, Okay. But the dude still has a, I mean, I think I, I, I'd i have to go back to on my comp, excuse me, on my video. But if I can remember, I mean, the guy had like pretty much almost like 13 
15 charges together. And I think it was like six felonies and like seven misdemeanors or it could have been seven felonies and six misdemeanors, but whatever. Okay. It's, it's a lot. All right. But um, th this dude's been racking up felonies since he was fucking, like I said, 17 or 18 years old. And what's fucking really sad is, is this guy is not a fucking like kingpin. He ain't no gangster. These aren't no like, you know, conspiracy to fucking, you know, kill somebody or, you know, fucking, uh, you know, uh, distribution of drugs like he's some breaking bad motherfucker. OK, this guy's literally just been beaten on women and his family since he was fucking, you know, got out of high school. And like I said, guarantee you he's been doing it since, you know, Lord knows when, I guess, since he's hit puberty. You know what I mean? Since he grew a little taller and can maybe, you know, fight his dad. Who knows? But um, this dude's a bad piece of shit, man. And uh, like I said, these these felonies, these are all assault and batteries, except for one. The only one that's not, it's like still like some shitty ass, like he tried to rob like a, a store. I don't know what it was. I have to go back. But it, it had to do something with stealing or robbery. And it was pretty serious. The rest of them are all beating on somebody beating on a family member beating on a woman um as a matter of fact i think this is pretty interesting here this is and and this is something i couldn't have got where we were i'd have to go to another county um this was uh, i i think this is a county very close to to, to uh, tulsa county but check this out check this out Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see here. This is a pretty interesting charge. You know, for the most of them, they're pretty straightforward, you know. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We got a donation, right? And I'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, we're actually going to be, um, you know, we're, we actually need to talk about before the end of the evening what happened. OK, <laughs> why Mr. Ski Mask didn't show up? And we are going to talk about that. Um, I've been discussing that with some folks and uh, there, there's some theories, there's some allegations and uh, we're going to discuss that really quick. But either way, where I'm going with that is there is going to be a date for next hearing and uh, we will be there. So that donation is going to go into that account. All donations will again. You know, I'm not going to go get me a fucking blunt tonight, you know, just because I got a donation. So uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. So anyways, this is what's kind of interesting. Uh, this is out of the county of Wagoneer. Okay, again, I think when I look that up, it's, it's like right next to Tulsa County. So very close. Um, I believe this was just another county that maybe him and his family may have lived in. And um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Here it is, felony. Just want to make sure. He actually had a few little things go on while he was in that county. Yeah, here it is. This is it. This is kind of an interesting one. This was filed in September 24th, 2008. Okay. And this is, let's see, this again is in Wagoneer County. And he had two counts that he was charged with aggravated assault and battery and disturbing the peace. Okay. Now let's see something here. If I don't, if I remember. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Remember what we talked about, the first counts, one and two? What was the more serious one? That was the one labeled as aggravated. The one for his brother was assault and battery, okay? And the reason they uh, they made the other one aggravated because it was his mom. It was another domestic partner, somebody that lived. It doesn't have to be just be anybody that lives in the same household. I, I guess they could have even given him a domestic, but they probably made it aggravated because – that he hurt, you know, he injured his mom, you know, it was bad. That's why it was made into an aggravated. Okay. Serious. So get that. It's, this one is the same thing. It's, it's not just a assault and battery. It's an aggravated assault and battery. So 2008, this fucker gets an aggravated assault and battery and a, another account of disturbing the peace. Okay. Here's what's kind of interesting though. When you go down to like where the, uh, you know, kind of the charges, obviously he was found guilty and uh, he was given uh, a, a sentence, which included fines and fees. OK. And I'll give you an ex example of some of them. OK. One's like a medical liability fee. 
One's the Oklahoma Court Information System fee, Sheriff's Courthouse fee, okay? Attorney General Victim Services Unit fee. Now, I looked at some of these, and they're pretty much the same. That'll kind of go to a lot of the other charges, right? But here's the one that's different, okay? This is the one that you don't see on any of the other charges, okay? Like I said, you might see like, like a medical liability fee okay, on like the other charge, okay? But the one that you don't see on any of the other ones, and I even compared the ones that were in Oklahoma County, okay? Not just the Wagoneer. He has a fee that says one is 10% victim service fee. And the other one says child abuse multidisciplinary account. So I don't know what that, that that's interesting to me. Cause like I said, that's not on any allegation. So that's all I'm going to speak on that. But uh, until I can do more research and figure out exactly uh, again, it's just going to be submitting and, you know, I wasn't going to go to Wagoneer County, you know, I had to leave that day, but, uh, you know, we can do it online. We can submit for the uh, Freedom of Information, uh, excuse me, not freedom, we're not submitting for that. We're submitting under that act uh, to get the court records for that and see why is there a fee or, you know, an account, essentially an account set up for a fee to go into that that's labeled child abuse multidisciplinary account. So, yeah, big ups. I don't know. That's like I said, I don't want to make allegations. Doesn't mean somebody was, I mean, it's just kind of weird that, that that's in there. And then you have that in with, you know, aggravated assault, battering, disturbing the peace. So, again, that's all we're going to speak on that. But that's one that I'm definitely want to, you know, do a little bit more research on. Uh, that was in 2008, like I, I said. So, um, but uh, this was all looked up through the Oklahoma courts, state courts network. Literally, I'm, I got it right here. It's OSCN.net. Just plug in the first and last name, and you can look at the same thing I'm looking at now. And that was, um, let's see here. Let's see. You. I believe I even saw a bench warrant on here, so that must mean he didn't show up to court for this one. Yeah, they issued a bench warrant. So, yeah. Yeah, and he also has a history of not showing up to court, which blows my mind why they still bond him out. But it happens a lot. I've seen so many cases where repeat offenders, they still like these dudes never show up. And yet they still like they don't even give them an ankle monitor place. It, they just, you know, on their rec, you know, on a RO, you know, on their own. Uh, what is it? Uh, what do they call it? No R, your um, own re own reconnaissance, or own, own recognition, um, you know, uh, blows was my mind, you know, but hey, no, no, no system's perfect. So uh, they always strive to be better and that's all we can hope for. But yeah, I mean, this dude has a history of always running and not showing up. So uh, that's what I think is what happened on, on Monday. So let's get, let's kind of roll into that. Um, uh, so here's what I was told. Okay. So when I was at the courthouse, I was kind of, somebody messaged me that pretty much they saw him go back, I guess, to his chat you know, he disappeared for like 10 minutes, came back and, you know, he was talking about how he got. Uh, so this is and this is what listen to this. This is where it's kind of weird, you know, and this is why I know there's a lie here. OK, because scheme asks the one that pretty much is the he he he's the one that says the lie. So the first thing I heard out of his mouth was um, he got his lawyer to waive his appearance. OK. So that pretty much saying that, you know, he called his lawyer and said, hey, I, you know, call him and say, I don't want to show up because of this. OK, so think about that. If he's saying that, that's kind of him implying, right, that he had to have been there. And now he made in whatever. And we'll talk about what the excuse could have been. He had to make an excuse to not show up. OK, well, then this guy like, you know, just, you know, in typical ski fashion, like an hour later, changes his story to. He never had to go there, and uh, it was all virtual court, but he still had his lawyer extended or whatever, yada, yada, for its next week, supposedly. Well, think about that. That makes no sense, right? If you know you don't have to show up to court, why would you even care You know about what I'm doing? One, it doesn't matter. I'm just there as a member of the public. But two, why would you like you know have your lawyer have to call and make an excuse as to why you can't show up to court? when you're already there on virtual court. So that makes no sense. You follow me? Um, and, and those are the two stories he 
said. That came out of his mouth. Okay. He contradicted him each other. It makes no sense to say, hey, I called my lawyer to have him waive my appearance. But then, oh, it was virtual court. It was virtual court. Got you. Ha ha. I told you it was virtual. That's what he was saying. It's like it was virtual court the whole time. Then if it was the case, then why didn't you just do the virtual court? Because if it was just like every other time, you don't even fucking say anything. It lasts three fucking minutes. Your lawyer just says, no, we're not going to take the plea. And you go on to the fucking next trial. So I don't believe that because, like I said, our research team called, talked to the county clerk, and they said, you know, it's in person, okay? I, I kind of believe them over ski masks. I'm sorry. But then another allegation – I'm sorry. I'm not reading the chat yet. I will because I want to see if anybody knows. But the other thing is they said was supposedly uh, – the it was brought up about COVID, that he supposedly told his lawyer to tell the judge or the court that he had COVID, Okay. And then I'm hearing that later on his chat that he's saying, um, oh, that the, he told his lawyer about me and that's the reason they called and got it waived. That's bullshit, okay? Because one, I'll tell you this, that didn't happen because obviously if they thought there was a concern, somebody would have talked to me, right? <laughs> Two, you think he's going to tell the lawyer about all this bullshit thing? Lawyer's not stupid, okay? One, the lawyer's going to tell him straight up. So, Ski Mask, you're telling me pretty much you're saying there's just a person here visiting and they're going to be attending a public court hearing? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, buddy, okay? We're not going to fucking call the judge and tell him we're not showing up because of that, okay? So, I know he didn't do it. I know he didn't say that because he sounds stupid to the lawyer, okay? And two, the lawyer, even if he did try that, the lawyer's not going to go with that, okay? So, if he really did have to show up and he did make up some excuse, the only excuse I can really think of is the one that was brought up, which is a COVID excuse. You know, that really is the only thing that can get you out of something that serious, even though they probably know it's bullshit. You know, they just kind of got to go with it. OK, um, I mean, I even think his lawyer probably knew it, especially, you know. I, I can't see him having his lawyer's number on hand during the weekend. Lawyers don't give their personal numbers, okay? They don't give a fuck how much money you pay them, okay, uh, to these yahoos, okay? So he didn't call this motherfucker on Saturday or Sunday or nothing like that, okay, Sunday morning, all right? I have the feeling he called a Monday, like 10 till, 30 till. His lawyer was probably waiting at the courtroom and said, oh, I got COVID or some shit. And we're going to find out, Okay. And if that was the case, oh, man, you slipped up, bro, because don't worry about me. But those other people I was telling you, the ones that sent me the clips of you threatening my life, okay, uh, those feds that are probably watching you, okay, they're the one, and the police that are probably watching you, they're the ones you got to worry that watched your little VODs over the fucking weekend, your lives of you threatening my life, smoking and joking with all your fucking viewers, okay, riding, supposedly driving around Tulsa, so that was bullshit, looking to hurt me, okay? I don't think that shows you had COVID, dude, all right? So imagine that. Imagine a judge gets in news or wind, your judge, that you fucking pretty much wasted the court's time and the judge's time all for a lie that you just made up because you're just trying to buy some time. That's not going to look good, buddy. So, yeah, um, it's 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 that's kind of the mystery right now. Let's toss up. We're going to figure out exactly what happened. You know, it's 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 going to it's probably going to come out of his fucking mouth tonight or tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so let me just see. Uh, let me kind of go down the chat now that I've kind of, you know, kind of discussed everything and and see what, if anybody has been, you know, given any ideas as to what they think was going on or anything. <laughs> Thanks, crime. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, oh, hi, in excess. I see you. A lot of people might be joining late that I didn't say hi to. See, there's chicken cakes. I think I say hi, Joy. Baseline, what's up? Sarah, what's up? XO, what's up? Big ups. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so uh, that that's pretty much, you know, from the whole, you know, trip and everything, that's kind of the mystery right now is uh, what, you know, what really happened, you know? Did Ski Mask not show up because I was there? which that has, that's pretty personal. That has nothing to do. He can't use me as an excuse. And if you think you are, it's not going to work, bro. Like I said, you, 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 you think, you know, you, you and your, and of course, you know, I'm never going to think you're going to admit defeat. You'll never, you know, like I said, you're a narcissist. Okay. God himself can come down and tell you you're wrong and you're still not going to believe him. Okay. That's just the way you are. That's probably why you're in the position you are in the first place. But 
you know, I already know, you know, to, you're, you're going to say whatever. So you can, and, and your little, little ladies and men can go in there and, you know, rile you up and, and give their opinions. But we all know, okay. I know, I know exactly. Okay. There nothing went on. Okay. There's no excuse not to show up to court. Cause I was there. I'm not the one who made light threats to life. I never even like, you know, text you, called you, you know, hey, ski mask, you know, you know, gave you nothing. Like I said, you know, all I did was go down to Tulsa. I rented a hotel room and I was attending a public court hearing on Monday morning. That's it. If you want to use me, you know, that's your directive. If you want to use me as an excuse. But, you know, like I said, if that fucking judge finds out or the court clerk, anybody that's related in that court system that's up there that what you pulled was a stunt just because you didn't want to show up to court or to just kind of, you know, add a little, you know, uh, suspense to your viewers to kind of suck up some more donations, then you're in some trouble, buddy. That's for sure. Cause I'm not the only one watching ski and you know it, you fucking know it, buddy. Yeah. That's why, like I said, uh, exactly. I had to go through a metal detector. <laughs> you know what I mean? There, I do. I, like I said, I was up there. Literally, there's police because it, it's a public building. There's probably a fucking police station in there, okay? Because there was mad police walking through, so there was nothing to hide. It was hilarious. Like these ladies that night were just going off on, like, oh yeah, he's a class five stock. He, we can get him for stalking. We can get him as being a grad. All oh, this bullshit. I'm like, are you fucking nuts? Are, are you guys so delusional? Like you think like Tulsa, a city of like half a million people, it belongs to one person and that anybody that visits there is like not welcome because it's ski mask town and that he has every right now to fucking say he's going to kill me and this and that and supposedly drive around looking for me and that I should be scared walking around downtown. Absolutely fucking not. I walked downtown with no problems, man. I didn't give one shit about that motherfucker, okay? I wasn't looking behind my back. I didn't care because, one, I knew he's a pussy. He wasn't going to do anything. I wasn't there for anything, but I still wasn't afraid. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to go bother him, so I knew that thing was going to happen between us. But if he was going to attack me like he said he was going to do, I still wasn't worried because I knew that was just all just like he is. That's all he is. He's like a yapping chihuahua. And no offense to you, little Baba. I have a little chihuahua, but, and he don't even yap, okay? I love my chihuahua. Jesus. Hey, what's up? Well, I see Jen saying hi, Kelval. So hi, Kelval. I didn't see you there earlier. Let me take another sip of this. I'm, <laughs> there's a lot of talking. I'm getting kind of, my throat's dry. Anyways, so let me put in the link here. If anybody wants to come up and talk, you know, um, I'm kind of open to whatever, but I, I prefer if you want to talk about something, if you have any questions in reference to what we, you know, discussed this evening, the hearing, the trial. Um, fourth, um, we're still waiting to get the new date for the hearing. Now, I'll tell you this, okay? I will tell you this. <clears throat> uh, there's some rumor, and th this was not started by anybody, in, you know, that are my, you know, subscribers or viewers or nothing by me but uh this is just all said from ski mask but he's and again you know i i he could even be making this up because i don't even think he knows the date but they were he was even telling his viewers oh he said he's coming next week he's coming next week okay one i'm not doing that because i don't know when his next date is and two if it's next week i'm not going to go to that because i already know what's going to happen okay this trip already answered that question when he has to go to court he's just gonna he's not going to take the plea so what we're going to do is we're going to arrange and we're going to fundraise to go to the important one. That's going to be the jury trial. OK, that's going to be the one where there's no more excuses. There is no more option A or option B. It's just one option. OK, whether you're guilty or not guilty. And I'm going to tell you this with his his history and his criminal record. If he's found guilty, he's going to jail. There's no ifs, ands or buts about that. So, uh. That's it. You know, there's no more postponing this shit. There's no more second chances. There's nothing. So that's the hearing we're going to fundraise for. We're not going to waste our time going. We didn't waste our time this time. But we're not going to go and, and and you know, just to see his lawyers say, oh, we're not going to take the plea and we'll see you that. OK, we were he was maybe going to do that this time. We didn't know. 
now we know what he's going to do because he said it. Okay. And um, I think what was really, really important about this trip is what we got, which was the truth here. Okay. And we learned a lot. Not only myself personally, I gain more experience on live streaming. So that way, next time we go, you'll have a, you know, hopefully I'm not going to guarantee it because nothing goes perfect, but, you know, hopefully a 99%, you know, problem free live stream. Um, you know, we're comfortable with the area. I know which, where in the lobby, where I can stand, where I can stand with my camera. And now that we have more time, once I know the date for the jury trial hearing, you know what I'm going to do? Because all they can say is no, is I'm going to send a letter as I'm supposed to. That's the process. I've already read it through their website. And I'm going to request and see if I can actually live stream the trial from inside the courtroom. It's strictly up to the judge. Uh, it's not even like it's it's a policy, obviously, for the courtroom, but there's not like you cannot speak to like, you know, hey, uh, court manager, court clerk. It is up to the judge of that courtroom whether you can record or not. So once I find out the date, I'm going to re put the request in because, like I said, all they can say is yay or nay. You know, if they say nay, no big deal. We're going to be out there in front, see if we can get an interview. And if we can't, we're just going to follow him right inside, listen to the court. I'm going to transcribe as best as I can. And um, he's either going to be free or he's going to get locked up that day. And, uh, you know, at that time, um, because I know where the prisoner, we walked around the back and I know where the prisoner exit is, we'll be, we can be there to see if he has an interview after he got locked up before he goes to the big boys. So, uh, you know, we, we, learned, uh, we learned a lot from our first trip. And uh, we've got a lot of great information, too. And now we know that because, you know, by going on this first trip and hearing it from the horse's mouth, we know ski math is not, excuse me, ski math, <laughs> ski math, ski mask is not going to take the plea. So we're just going to wait for the jury trial hearing. And that's going to be the live next live coverage that I want to do with everybody. OK, cool, cool. Click, clack. Exactly, Jen. Click, clack. Hands in the back, Melpo. All right, so let me get this little invite link here. La, 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 copy and paste. I don't think that works yet. So if anybody wants to come up and chat or has any questions or wants to give their personal experience about maybe their experience, excuse me, want to give a story or tell us about their personal experience, they've had one with Mr. Ski Mask, by all means, the floor is yours. So... Uh, I think did the low uh, did the did it go up? Uh, hey Jen, uh, can you tell me if the uh, link went up? NJ, have you ever worked as an investigator? I have not, but I've always wanted to. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of why I I I not originally started this channel. Obviously, it was a clipping channel, but you know it was. Like I said, I like to clip and cover people that, you know, were in a community that were doing bad things. And eventually it's kind of led into this. So, um, you know, I want to do more investigating stuff. Thanks. Cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you for posting that just, Jen. Uh, that is right now the best way and only way to donate to the fundraiser is going to be through the cash app that we just posted. Um, during, I like I said, I am going to be uh, doing some type of show. Might not even be like last time's format. It might be some like fun live stream or something. But we're going to definitely do something fun uh, for that fundraiser. But anytime, if you do want to donate now or between that time, like I said, that's going to go into that fundraising account to go to the next hearing. Um, but I would love to do professional investigation. But if I can do it at this level, that's fine. I enjoy it. Um, one of my favorite things to watch is, is like the uh, the uh, the news. Uh, what are they called? The uh, news pretty much like the news TV investigator reporters. Um, I like the guy from uh, what's his name? I think it's like Minnesota. Oh, man, I forgot. He's really good. He's he's like popular. He's all over YouTube. But, you know, they he goes and busts some really bad people, you know, like these guys that you know, try to charge more for plumbing and things like that. Whatever, man, bad people at scam. I mean, he would have gotten ski mask would be a perfect candidate for one of those dudes shows. All right. I see somebody by the name of big toot. Um, let's see here. Do you have like an avatar or anything you can put up or do you just want to go up when well, you left? That's going to say you can talk without, you don't have to talk with your face up, but, uh, I, I didn't know if you had an avatar you wanted to put up. So yeah, if you want to come up, you don't have to actually, uh, talk. 
or not talk. You don't have to put your face up, but uh, uh, if you want, you can. I don't require it. I guess they just left the back, so I guess they didn't want to come on. Thank you, Jersey. Okay, so let me see here. Can I, what's this? I don't know what that does. Oh, I guess it shows. Okay, give me a second, but no. Let's see. Okay, so that shows that when I click on it. Here, let me try this. Huh. So when I go like that, I don't know. I was going to add some moderation moderators here. And, I, and the people I've already talked to are the ones that I was going to start with. But I don't think I can through this program. So I'll have to just figure out the other way. So um, I'll get with you guys afterwards on Instagram. YouTube app and pin con. Okay. Go on YouTube app and pin con. So do I got to go? Okay. You know what? Hold on. I know exactly what I can do. I'm an idiot. That's why I had my phone here. I just can do it through the YouTube. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's see. I like that one. Let's post that baseline. You're totally right. Da, da, da. Ski has become a AOL chat room. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, yeah. That's what was hilarious, too. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, somebody, well, not somebody, he had a big old group in there. They were uh they were mocking my my viewers, man. I had to like, I want I'm gonna defend you guys. They were all in there talking crap about. Oh yeah, everybody that donated got scammed. Oh, and I'm like, they donated for me to go to Tulsa. How do they get scammed, you retards? But second of all, they're talking about, oh, you know, how that's a waste of money. And it's funny because a uh, ski mask is like, oh my gosh. And this is why it's like, that's what drives me nuts. It's just the hip how hypocrite these people are. He's like, oh yeah, imagine that. You scam these poor single well, one, how do you know these my viewers for poor single woman? that donated and two you he's talking about where the donation money goes where the fuck do you think when you donate to ski mask where your money goes do you think it goes to pay mama ski for rent or to buy a little more bread for this you know pb and j sammies or for you know to pay the the heat bill you know for all that fucking heat he's pumping in because he's up 24 hours a day smoking weed absolutely not all that money those people donate goes fucking right up in smoke, you retards. And I'm sorry I used that word, but that's what you are. Because you're literally saying what people donated for was a scam and their money went to waste. Are you kidding me? Do you know what? Oh, my gosh. That money, you want to talk about money getting wasted? Your money literally goes to buy something that he could grow in his backyard. For God's sake, if I smoked that much weed, I would just grow it, okay? It's literally a weed. OK, a weed. It's the like easiest thing you can grow. All you need to do is add water to it. OK, oh, it grows almost anywhere. All right. Jesus. And that's all you're buying for him is shitty ass weed that literally he just smokes up. Poof. Talking about wasting money. You might as well get that little one dollar bill you donate to him. Light it up. Or just crumble it, throw it in your little electric grinder and smoke it. Because that's what he's doing. So talk about wasting money, huh? Damn. Thank you for that contribution. So I haven't even like looked at him and said, you know, because you can thank people through here. So let me do that really quick. So I don't want to be, uh, uh, you know, okay. Thank you for that. And I appreciate that. Okay. I don't, I won't say names right now because I'm not sure if you guys want to, but uh, we'll, we'll discuss that later. Some people may, some people may not. But we're going to figure out another way that if people do want to kind of have a little recognition for that, which I'm totally for that. You know, you totally deserve. We'll figure out a great way. Okay, thank you. I, I, I got that. So thank you and thank you. Okay. And I know who is from to that. I, I see that. So thank you. Thank you all. All right, cool. That's going into the fun. So, um, and you know, it's, it's probably good to just be around the same as we fundraised last time i don't see why it's going to cost any more so um you know it, it 
thank you. We're, I, I'm sure we're going to do it. So we'll be there. We just got to figure out what the date is. And I'm sure it's going to be probably at least another month and a half, maybe two. So we'll, we'll have plenty of time where we'll make the, the dono go. I'm pretty sure. And we're at a good start right now. So thank you. And uh, that, that should be pretty exciting. Cause like I said, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, just guilty or not guilty. And that's it. That's it. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and that's what's up. It's 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 not really that hard to be honest with you. Have you ever, have you ever heard of ditch weed? It's just that's it. You know, throwing seeds in a ditch and just letting the water and you know natural way of the sun and earth and soil do its thing. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't know why he doesn't do it. Maybe you know, I, res I mean, he disrespects his family anyways. I don't know what's the big deal about throwing a few seeds in the backyard savior of some money but you know what it, I, it's laziness <laughs> that's why <laughs> just easier to 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 buy it and uh, smoke it you know it's not his money right the fuck's he care what the fuck does he care all right let's see and shake <laughs> i like that one <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I'm trying to think. When did I start the NJ course? I'll have to get back to you because I really think that was my original one, but you, we might be on the right track there, Mids Plug. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Oh, man, you guys are too much, man. You guys crack me up. I love this chat. It's hilarious. That's why I always like to stop and read it, man. It's, it, it just cracks me up. Plus, you guys remind me of stuff to talk and give me good ideas and stuff. Uh, just like whoever it was. Man, I never remember the name. I have to read the VOD. Whoever it was, thank you if you're on here, that suggested checking out that little uh, The Center of the Universe. That was pretty dope. Uh, that was a nice, cool little – that was actually kind of fun at the end, you know, right after the courthouse because we got, you know, we got to get some important stuff. And, uh, you know, just for the little few hours I had left before I had to catch the bus, you know, I, I felt like I got a lot of stuff done. Uh, got to see a little, you know, attraction, pretty cool one from the city. And uh, I ended the, the, the half of the day having lunch at a really cool chicken spot and kind of had a little, you know, uh, a little uh, lunch talk with everybody. So uh, it was a nice way to end the, the day and then head back home. So let's see. Yeah, his, those blunts probably cost more than his bud. You're right. I mean, literally, like I said, those donos just go for energy drinks, blunts, and weed. That's it. That's all that guy needs to survive every day. Otherwise, everything is given to him. He has a roof over his head from his parents. The parents are the ones paying for the food. The parents are the one paying for the utilities, okay? Um, all he needs is just his weed, little gas money to go to the little come and go around the corner, and then, uh, you know, a little, little, little few, you know, dollar or two to buy, you know, little two pack of blunts. Okay. I mean, he's the type of nymph. I mean, he's the type of person that, you know, smokes all those blunts. You would think it was just easier and it would be cheaper just to buy a bigger box. But because he just lives on his daily, what he can get, you know, sometimes he's probably having to scrape pennies just to get, you know, that little two pack of blunts. And I bet she breaks them in half. And, uh, you know, he doesn't show you what he's smoking now. You know what I mean? You think he's smoking a big old baller blunt? Hell no. That guy's smoking a half a fucking Optimo blunt, mostly fucking paper, okay? Dude, he, he's he's begging, and he, he's going to be hurt now. Like I said, uh, uh, I <laughs> obviously a lot of his viewers must have read that one paragraph, and that was enough to – you know, realize what type of fucking scumbag he is. And um, I, I, I hope more people realize that because in no way am I trying to, you know, get gotcha. But uh, what you did to your mom, man, pff, Jesus Christ, bro, that's fucked up shit. And then for you to go around and lie about it and then like make up all these stories all the time. And like, you know what I mean? Like, that's even worse, man. I, jeez. I don't know how you can live with yourself like that. I, honestly, I couldn't. I, I, I could never. One, I would never do anything like that. And in some 
fucked up way. Like if I was just raging on meth and it happened, I would never return to my parents' home. As a matter of fact, I, I'd probably throw myself off a bridge and I'm not recommending that's what you do, but uh, I, <laughs> I, I'm just, that, that's why I'm just blown. That's like I said, oh, let's check the survey out. Like I said, I have some feeling that there's something else going on in that household. And uh, I'm going to tell you this, uh, Mama Ski and Papa Ski, if you're watching this, and, and I'm being dead serious. If you need help, okay, or you need advice, you have any questions, I can walk you through the legal process of evicting, you know, ski mask and doing it in a way that will protect you, okay? Um, you can contact me through my face – or not – excuse me. I don't have that through um, what uh, the community page. It's almost like Facebook. That's what I like, that the YouTube uh, community page. Post a question through one of those. Um, you can uh, also communicate me with, through Instagram, but please, if you need help, if you just need to talk to somebody or need advice, I can guide you and walk you through on how to evict your son or how to, you know, pretty much just kick him out if you don't even want to go through the eviction process. But if there's something going on there, if you need help, if you're being kind of held as like a, a domestic hostage, it's an it's, it's, that's not even a joke. It's a, it's a real term. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm being serious. I offer my assistance, please. But, um, let me tell you exactly, uh, show you something here. What was I going to look up? Oh, man. Shoulder. Do you know, man, I'm just trying to read it chat while I'm looking. Oh, I kind of brain farted. I don't even know what I was doing. Anyways, yeah, I'm just so pissed. I can't, it's, oh my gosh, man. Poor your mom. Uh, <laughs> oh, the survey. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Thank you. Sorry. I'm like, come on, Emilio. I'm telling you, man, I lost brain cells yesterday, dude. I'm not fucking kidding you. That's why I don't think I can clip ski anymore. So uh, I'm sorry about that. I'll have to start clipping somebody else. But for my own health, people, oh, man, it's 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 tough now. All right, here we go. I wanted to read. Let's see what the uh, what the old uh, uh, survey ended up being. See what the people spoke. You know, I can say anything I want, but let's see what the people spoke. That's the most important part that what you guys said. Go to the community page here. All right. Well, right now we have almost close to 200 votes. It's right at 197 votes. And it looks like, uh, so the question was, let me start with that. The question was in the survey or the poll survey we had on the community page was, do you believe Ski Mask Andy is keeping his parents hostage and is why he has free reign to their house after all this abuse? 66% said yes, and only 34% said no. So well over half of the people agree or are concerned that there could be a domestic hostage situation going right, right now in their household. And you know what? It kind of may be the reason why Ski never leaves there, you know? You ever kind of wondered why? I mean, a guy his age and you know even with people kind of I mean he knows he can make money if he just leaves that house I mean that's what always I kind of wonder and he does every once in a while but I mean think about it he I mean these ladies are throwing money just him sitting in a shitter don't you think and men sorry that's what I'm trying to work on we keep using the ladies okay I know there's men that watch him as well too now so I'm not picking on the ladies but those there's four of them though they're 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 not even ladies those people are psychotic evil witches okay but um you know you would think a guy like that would think hey you know what all if these ladies are tossing me men are tossing me money while i'm in a bathroom could you imagine if i take them on a little adventure a little live stream so uh, just kind of weird, you know, kind of weird, you know, that you're always stuck at that house for some reason. You just never want to leave it. Just a thought. There you go. There you go. Per Peter, I like that. That's yep. Yep. 
just like that. <laughs> See if I can pull up that episode, man, and we'll just uh, clip that the kid the kid's head and put his head on it. <laughs> Hey, good idea. I got an idea for a clip. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's also paranoia, scent mask for sure. Oh, definitely paranoia. Definitely paranoia. I mean, supposedly they said, here's the funny thing is, is when my, like, I guess my live stream went off, that's when he supposedly went on his live stream. Or I don't know if he had his on at the same time, but um, I was told, I guess, that he did take off from his house and actually drove somewhere. I don't know if it was really downtown or he was just driving around his block. You know what I mean? But uh, apparently he went looking for me. Right. And I'm the aggressor. Right. Right. Uh, right. You four. I'm the aggressor. Right. I'm the stalker. Yeah. I'm not the one who jumped in my shit box. You know, either, like I said, he really went looking for me, which I doubt, or like, you know, just to make it get that content, uh, you know, just drove around his neighborhood pretending to like he was, you know, going to beat my ass. I don't know. So. Oh, he went to get his supplies. Yeah, that makes sense. So he just went around the corner to the come and go. It's a weird name. I don't know why they named those in uh, Oklahoma like that. It's kind of a, you know weird uh <laughs> yep he loves them half price buffalo chicken rollers hell yeah well, let's throw that up in there see that there skis that's you making you hungry mm -mm. Ooh, what time is shit man i think it's too late to get some right now damn it you got me hungry too mince plug fuck you man mm -mm. some half price buffalo chicken rollers and you know in skis fashion he probably goes up and asks him Hey, dog, if these been sent for 12 hours, do I get like, uh, you know, half off? Yeah, I'll take it. He likes them uh, 12 hours sitting a half price buffalo chicken rollers. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sarah. That I honestly, I don't, you know, that that, I, that might just be as close of a depiction as you might think. You know, he never did get them fixed, you know, so I wouldn't doubt I don't think he, you know, he's too smart to put the big, you know, like you should, those big ass, like, uh, you know, searchlights. He's probably just cheap and went to the dollar store and got, got like those little cheap ass, cost you like a week or two flashlights. But I, I wouldn't doubt if he has two flashlights taped to the front of his hood. I, I definitely can see that. His bondsman got fired. I, that's right. I heard that. I heard that. And I'm kind of wondering if that was anything related to, to, to that whole ski verse shit, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, but that, I had heard that Sarah. I, again, like I said, that could have been just something totally different or I'm curious if it had to do with anything with, with ski mask. But remember he was talking a lot that like he knew this person or that, and he claimed that they were in his chat. I never believed that. I don't know. Do you guys think that that was really his bonds person? Yeah, those of you who have followed him during that time, I, I personally don't think it was, but I don't know. It was kind of weird for him to like just want to introduce somebody like that. So that's what kind of throws me off. Like, why would you even like lie about something like that? But it is ski. So <laughs> yeah, Jersey, you're right. That is too much work. He probably couldn't even figure it out. He probably, dude, Ski's the type of guy that couldn't even figure out how to unroll like a brand new roll of tape. You know what I mean? Like where, where you got to find like the little edge part, you know, he'd be like looking through it. Chat, chat, uh, how, do you think they sold me a fucked up roll of tape? Oh, that motherfucker, they probably did sell me a fucked up roll of tape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had to part out the car for his brick. Yeah. That car neat is about to be parted up, man. I don't, I don't, he claims that he spent some money to fix it up. I, I don't even know. I, I, I honestly don't even think that car exists anymore, but if he was in some type of car looking for me, I guess it does run, you know? Uh, but for a while, I, I didn't even think he had any vehicles and I mean, I don't give a shit, but uh, I think it's funny. I mean, I'll tell you what, that car is most important thing for him because not only is it the only possession he has in his life, but that's, he knows, you know, if he ever fucks up and you know, those, you know, Hey, hey, like I said, if if Mama Ski reaches out to him and she figures out how to give him an eviction and he's, you know, to where it's 
Tulsa sheriff evicting him, you know, he needs that car or else he's fucked. He ain't got no home. He needs them. He needs that rolling mobile home, you know. Don't know that. Yes, sure can. Absolutely. And this is for you. Thanks for the don't know. Hmm. For you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the ski shell dono hug dance. Exactly. <laughs> so fucking hilarious. Oh, man. That was a funny. I have a clipping video. I have to admit, that was the one I liked out of my own clipping videos, man. Was I think I labeled it or named it um, Ski Mask is uh, selling hugs or hugs for sale. I dude, when I first saw that, I could not believe that. I've never, you know, out of all, you know, like the one year I was watching him, like you know, consistently, I, I've never seen him do anything like that. I mean, that blew my fucking mind when I saw him like do that. Cause he was serious. I'm being, I'm joking. Okay, I can't even be serious. I don't know how he was serious doing that. I mean, he was dead serious, like having a moment. Like, I mean, like. Oh, man, it was just like, I mean, dude, if you weren't such a fuck up, you might actually have a career in acting. God damn, son. <laughs> I guess he's good at self hugs because they're the only fucking hugs he gets. Oh, and then it was funny because his like ladies are all clowning at me like, oh, man, he ain't got no girl. He, ain't, man, You don't know shit about me, man. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm going to get OBS running. And just for you, those four ladies, let me show. I'm going to show you who uh, who uh, who New Jersey Courts is, all right, before you go thinking uh, uh, I'm a little 40-year-old virgin there like a uh, scent mask is. You, you know you know how long your boy's been the – Jen, when's the last time you gave ski any of the JJ? Well, we know it's at least been what? How old's your – you know what I mean? So – yeah, ski. And uh, what 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 do you think uh, the the come and go is is he, he ain't getting no you know I think it's just like I said hypocritical for his own uh, little four witches to be calling me out on uh, my sex history when uh, obviously you know their little papa daddy ain't even gotten any for the last almost two years. <laughs> Jen, I knew you'd be honest. You ain't got no shame in the game. That's what I like about you. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep, what you know about that? My sister wives. Shit, you, you mean those, those lutches don't know shit. It's funny, man. That's why I was listening to them, man. Uh, I... There, some of them are funny, but man, some of them are just outright, just you know, like damn. <laughs> oh man, you cracked me up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man, that was. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry that was hilarious <laughs> oh man i need a drink of some kidding i was gonna slam it but I'm afraid I'm going to spit it out. <laughs> oh, very cool. I, I appreciate Jen a lot. She, you, she is definitely a, a chat, a chat uh, moderator and uh, very good with the chat, man. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> let me put that one's for you there, old ski wee, since you know we know you're watching. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> well, there you go. No shame. There's there's the whole uh, whole story about ski masks. <laughs> Two inch ding a ling a ring a. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, that was a notification. Get that shit out of here. I don't want to see that. I'm trying to tell me who came on live right now. I don't care. Oh, man, dude. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> it is. That's what's so funny about it. That's why I'm laughing, because I know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm laughing so hard now my head in this hat holy shit dude i don't think i've ever gotten like a headache from laughing thank you jen <laughs> oh man dude that is hilarious man well i mean that's that that's it i mean we we've We've had some laughs and gaffs, but I mean, as far as being on the serious note, you know, that that's what I wanted to share this evening um, was that police report that that was, uh, you know, that that was something. So uh, I'm just curious what's going to be the reaction. I don't really care. But uh, at this point, I mean, I've, I've heard it all. All now, you know, I mean, when you have somebody, you know, over the weekend, the dude was like. I mean, he said, I'm not even going to repeat it. He said, it's just some absurd shit. And I mean, I know it's just all that, but I, I mean, I, I'm just, you can't really surprise me or anything at this point, what he's going to react about or what lie he's going to tell. Um, like I said, I think he knew he was already going to be under hot water with everybody because in true ski fashion, that dude would like, you know, be parking right right now you know he'd be live i don't know if he's live right now but he, he'd want to talk about this all night long you know and just be like oh that's bullshit they're lighter than that he he's he can't argue against that police report so all he can do at this point is just hope that you know whoever sticks sticks with them and uh you know and honestly i i <laughs> i know all those people are gonna see it so like i said if you're still donating to that scumbag after this hey it's a free world you can but uh, shame on you. Shame on you. And uh, I just want to read that one more time. So if you just popped in, you know exactly why I'm saying shame on you. This is for you four witches, okay? And I'm going to tell you one last thing. You little four witches and ski mask, you're lucky I don't have OBS Studio set up yet. And I'm going to finish tomorrow because... I got some really nice clips of you little yahoos yapping and harping about, oh, how nice Ski Mask is and how everybody's just so full of shit and la, 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 okay? I would love to play that right now. I'd love to play you guys right now just harping, you know, just yes manning the shit out of him, okay? And then right after I play that of you guys just building them up, your your little fucking skiwi, okay? The most innocent guy in the world. I'm gonna fucking read this next to you, okay? <laughs> As Kimberly pushed the door, the defendant kicked the door open. No, it's Kimberly. So, um, to fall and fracture her shoulder. As Skiwi's mom pushed the door. Or the defendant kicked the door open, causing Skiwi's mom to fall and fracture her shoulder. Here's another sentence. Skiwi's mom will testify she has three, not one, not two, but three motherfucking fractures in her right shoulder that require surgery. So when uh, tomorrow, when. Uh, uh, your little almighty skiwi, you know, comes up avoiding all this shit. 
just think a little bit about that before you send them your little one dollar cash app so you can get your little name and your little hug and you know get your little love that your husband won't give you or whatever reason you're donating to scumbag shame on you and you know what anybody that's done the past i'm not shaming you at all like i said he's a con man you didn't know any better now you know but like i said i, I i'm not going to give no second or third chances all right you, you keep donating money to him, do it, okay? I'm not saying, oh, donate it to me. No, man, fucking donate whoever. Give it to the animal humane. Give it to a homeless person instead. But you, you're talking about wasting money. You think the people in this channel are wasting money? You're talking about that? <laughs> what do you think that shit's going, man? Honestly, where where do you, where do you, if you ladies are watching, okay, let's see. I'm going to address you by your names. Not their real ones, obviously. Uh, let's see. I had to write them down because they're so stupid. Can remember them. Here we go. <clears throat> CC spelled C dot S E A. Oh, that's creative. Queen K, Donna Joe, Mitten Mama, the big mama bear. Mitt Mama. All right, you little Yahoos. All right. I've watched you all weekend just yap and larp, yap and larp, yap and larp. And tomorrow I'm gonna watch you do it again. But you know what? Not only me, but everybody else in here that heard this and heard your names, they're going to know how sick and disgusting you are when you're still LARPing tomorrow for him after they know what he did. When his mom was just trying to say, hey, get out of my house for what you did. And ski masking a fit of rage turns around and fucking ninja kicks a wooden door into his fucking mom's fucking face. OK, you know what? She's love. Lucky that didn't hit her in the face. It hit her in the shoulder, okay, and it knocked her down, okay? But think about it. That that door, that edge of that door could have hit her in the fucking nose, in her head. She could have gotten a concussion. She could have had a brain injury. You could have broke her nose, a fracture in the shoulder of the nose. They probably both are, okay? But you could have done some major damage. You could have knocked out all her teeth with that shit, you piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. And then you have the nerve. You have the nerve to just take advantage of your parents because they're obviously scared of you, okay? And they're not scared of you physically. They just don't want their fucking tires slashed or their windows being broken or wake up with their fucking cars being egged, you know, stupid shit like that. That's the reason, okay? They just figure, you know what? Let's just let this scumbag live out of the bathtub, okay? We don't even use that restroom anyways. Better than having, you know, the shit we got to deal with, you know, if we tell them to get out. That's what I'm saying. You know, you can't even be a man enough to say, you know what? I'm a piece of shit. Let me just go do, you know, be on my own No, Cause you're a pussy. You don't even know. You don't even know how to survive on your own, dude. You got to live at mom, mom and dad's cause you have nowhere to go. You can't even like walk out of there and say, you know what? I'll just, you know, live on the streets and, you know, hustle, get a job, nothing. You're such a pussy dude. Fucking laying there after you fucking ninja kicked the door into your mom's fucking shoulder. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. Like I said, I'm glad I read that after I left Tulsa, bro. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I, uh, I mean, and it's scary because when you read shit like that, you know, Jen, I, I feel really for you. And I'm glad, you know, and I, I know you've been, you know, you've gone through some shit with them. I'm just glad you're at where you're at now. And you're, you know, just, but, uh, um, you know, there, there, there could have been some serious shit, you know, easily when you read stuff like that, Jen's lucky. Jen, Jen can take care of herself. Honestly, I think she'd beat the shit out of ski mask any day, but you know what? He's a little sucker punching little bitch. Okay. So she can't control if he comes, you know, flying behind her with a frying pan and smacks her in the fucking head. Okay. So that's what I mean. And I'm glad that you're okay now. But um, he's 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 a dangerous individual, okay? And he's like I said, he's a pussy. All right, he's the type of guy that you just be laying down, you know, asleep, okay? And then he goes and slits your throat while you're asleep, shit like that, okay? You think he's gonna go up to you and confront you, man to man? Fuck no. Yeah, he's probably not. He's probably not. I and it makes no sense, okay? You're right, Sarah. I don't think he's he's not supposed to be there, even by by the law. I mean, his parents might just, like I said, just, you know, fuck it. You know, we'd rather just get through the shit, you know, than have him do this shit. But 
I mean, honestly, I don't can't see the court saying, hey, you know, you just ninja kicked the door in your mom's face. You know, you you, you should be able to stay there. Same thing with the bond. I, I, I cannot. That makes no sense to release him on bond and allow him to go back to the victim's household that he committed the crime. That's where he committed the crime. He committed at his parents' house. We know that. So does that make sense to you guys? You know, why would the court allow him when, when they put him on bond? You know, you would think that would be one of, you know, the conditions is you cannot return to the house. So, yeah, he's probably not supposed to be there. He is probably not supposed to be there. Yeah, I, I had I was always afraid for Mandy, you know, he, he pretended to like that dog and he didn't. He doesn't like animals. He not at all. You can tell. You can just tell the way he acted with that, Mandy. OK, it was like, you know, it, it, it's like uh, water and oil. You know what I mean? <laughs> Walks out there for like a minute and then, you know, oh, yeah, I'm back, chat. <laughs> Poor dog. You know what I mean? She gets all excited because she's going outside and then ski mask because he's a lazy piece of shit, you know, and he wants to get back to his chat. He just knows he has to bring her out because, you know. Jen's going to get mad if she doesn't see that he went out and, you know, the dog has to pee. So, but that's it. As soon as the dog peed and pooped, back in, you know, he's a piece of shit. That's what he is. All because he's late and wanting to get back to his chat. But yeah, I was always afraid when I saw him with just Mandy. I know he's not going to do anything serious, but, you know, you never know. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's exactly. I can see that, Jen. Just the yelling. Exactly. And, and, and poor dog doesn't deserve that, especially Mandy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm sure my little Chihuahua is a great judge of character. OK, I guarantee you. I bet you I could just put a picture of ski mask on the screen and my dog start fucking barking. Fucking smell his little stink ass through the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mine would too, little Moho jump Juniper. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got a little and a big one. So the little one get a little kneecap, my big one get him right at the balls. <laughs> oh man, you guys are funny, but yeah, so I mean that guy no ain't no joke. And see, that's the funny thing too, is you know, all those, uh, all those, and I'm going to say ladies at this point, because I don't think a guy, well, you know, maybe one of the guys would invite him over for Thanksgiving, but uh, think about this, okay? Those ladies, they're always like, oh, yeah. In reality, you think if Ski was like driving through their town during Thanksgiving, you think any one of those ladies, except for, you know, maybe Michelle or one of those nutbags that doesn't have any children, okay? But I'm talking about the rest of them, the ones that, you know, say, oh, we have kids and a husband. Pimp. You think any one of those ladies is going to let that fucker in their house for Thanksgiving? They, and, you know, they they might be in there. They might tell him that, you know, oh, Ski, if you want to come join us. And, you know, knowing he's, you know, he's not going to. But guarantee if he really was, oh, yeah, can I get your number and I'll call <laughs> disappear. They ain't going to give him their number and hell no. All right. They never invite that guy. Even those people. That's why I don't understand. I don't know if it's they're trolling them. It's a game. They're just what the deal is. But it, it, I just like I said, I know those women. And like I said, it is the women and maybe a man invite them for Thanksgiving. I mean, there's no way in hell they, they would do it, you know. But then yet they're they're still like, you know, from the peanut, you know, just as yes, man. So I don't know. I don't get it yet. Like, I don't. But I, I know for sure none of those ladies would ever let them into their, their household. None of them ever, ever, ever. Wow. Yeah, let's show that because he's always bringing her up for sympathy and RIP, Cindy. Sorry to hear about that. But it's sad that he also brings that up and, and he pretends like it's for sympathy. Don't, you know, reasons now. He, he's just. All right, I'm going to take that down too. Just, I want to. Just give a little RIP, but that was a sad situation. That was a, a longtime supporter of skis that he just used, and she passed away sadly. And uh, yeah, I, I just uh, I just feel bad that she got scammed by that piece of shit. Totally can see him doing some pulling some shit like that. 
LD. Oh God, that's disgusting. That'd be disgusting to do. And I, like I said, I totally can see him pulling shit like that. Yeah, I know. I know he didn't sit mask. I absolutely know he didn't. This guy doesn't even give a shit about his own sister, dude. He don't give a fuck about that. He just harps like he does. And I don't even, I'm not even going to talk about it. Everybody knows that story. You know, maybe we might touch on the legal aspects of that, but later, not tonight, but out of the respect of his family, we've already discussed enough. I'm not bringing that up, but um, yeah, he, he doesn't give a fuck about his own sister. He ain't going to give a fuck about anybody else. You know, that, that's what's sad. All, all, all ski mask cares about is ski mask. That's it. That's all he gives two shits to care for. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to see a lot of other characters like that, too, in this little, you know, ski verse that's starting to show up. And it's kind of makes sense why they're attracted to each other, you know, like a magnet, you know. But it's sad, man. It's it's really sad. And, and, and it just blows my mind how these people want to actually, like, stream this, you know. Uh, and, you know, and then he's talking about, you know, and what's funny, too, is he's he, he was trying to – Make it sound like, uh, you know, he's some celebrity now, and that's why we're covering. Shut the fuck up, man. You're just a scumbag, and you are pretty interesting. I told you. There's a lot of scumbags like you, tens of thousands of scumbags like you, you know? But you know what? There really isn't. There's not too many, probably almost even in the world, like a handful of scums like, scumbags like you that are stupid enough to fucking film your actually fucking self-committing crimes, beating on women, assaulting people, smoking while you're fucking driving, telling the cops, fuck you, fleeing from three different states while you're filming yourself, okay? Those guys aren't stupid enough to do that, okay? You are. That's why you got the intention on you, okay? Before you start harassing people like, oh, they're, or excuse me, accusing people like they're harassing this shit or stalking, ain't nobody stalking you. They just want to see, you know, make sure that the fucking law the court system is going to do its job and put a scumbag like you in jail like you deserve. That's all. Okay. I think I watch you because I know oh, I'm like, shut the fuck up, ski mask. Damn, dude, you're, you're, ah, man. And you know what's sad is, is you're already 38, almost 40. Like there's, it's almost nothing you can do at this point. I, I'm trying to figure out like, you know, except incarceration, you know, and, and I don't even know if that's going to help. I hope it does. But fuck, you're just so stubborn, dude, that like you're never going to learn, man. And you're 40 years old, dude. Like you're halfway in your life, man. Your poor parents are like three quarters of into their life. All right. There's not a lot of time left, man. You got to get your shit straight, bro. And even then, like, it's not going to happen like that, you know? The way Ski has been going, he's like a heroin addict that's been on heroin for 20 years, okay? You think they're just going to cold turkey it the next day? Fuck no, okay? So even when this fucker decides that he wants to change his life and, you know, he found God and all this bullshit, it's not going to be like that. It's still going to take time, okay? And he's 40 fucking years old. What, is it going to take till you're 70 years old to snap out of this shit? You're going to be still wearing your fucking hat backwards and fucking SpongeBob fucking matching fucking tennis shoes, hoodie and fucking shorts when you're 70 and 80, smoking blunts, driving caddies, running around fucking assaulting women for your fucking by then 10 viewers still left because <laughs> they already passed. Because they were like 88 when they were watching. You know? Just kidding. No offense to you older ladies. I'm I'm old too. I can joke on it. But, yeah, man. Like, shit. Dude, exactly. That, 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 that stunts over. The Vanilla Ice Age is done, bro. You know, that was shit. Early 18, 25 years old. Great. All right. Cool. Everybody goes through that stage, man. But you're fucking 40 years old, man. 10 more fucking years, you're almost going to be able to, like, get senior discounts. You know, you're going to get a free coffee at Mick D's, man. 10 more fucking years, dude. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Holy shit. And like I said, it's still going to take time. So if you start now, it's going to be like you'll be 50 by the time you hopefully can, like, be, like, kind of changed. So imagine if you start like when you're, yeah, you man, you got to start now, dude. 
holy shit. And this is not even for you because what's going to happen is, is as you get older, you're going to slip up more. Okay. And so you want to be a 70 year old, 60 year old fucking spending time in jail. You want to be that old man that everybody just kind of, Hey, what up old man? You know what I mean? Toss you a few little chips every once in a while. Cause they feel bad for you. You know, geez, Louise, dude, get your shit straight. I really thought having the child was going to help, man. And that's what's scary because, God damn, I've seen people. I've seen some fucking G'd out motherfuckers. I've seen people with, like, drug problems fucking just as soon as that, you know, their girlfriend, their wife says they're pregnant and the child's coming. And maybe they were little dicks till then. But as soon as that child popped, boom. You know what I mean? I, I've seen children just change people, you know, and for to see ski mask, just run. And then worst off use his own child and the mother of his child as like a, an example for his content and jokes. You're fucking sick, man. That's like I said, I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I think prison, I, I, I doubt prison's even going to help you, man. And that sucks. I hate to say that, but shit, man. I, I mean, it's almost like saying you're just a lost cause at this point. But I don't want to tell you that because then you're going to act even more stupid, you know? I mean, I'll have to be honest with you. You got probably like a year and that's it, Ski. You got one year to get your shit straight, man. Like, get your shit. Go to go fucking pay. I mean, I don't even think you're going to be able to do it in one year because you still got fucking warrants in three other states. And you're facing probably a year now in this fucking state. So, I mean, realistically, even if you want to change, you got to serve all your time first, bro. You're going to be like 50, honestly, by the time you're done, if you're lucky. And then as soon as you're out of jail, you got to make that decision to fucking never come back and change your life. So, yeah, realistically, it's going to be till you're 50 or 60 when you can realize you're done with this shit, bro. But you got to start now, man. If you don't, you're, you're going to be a piece of shit for the rest of your life. They're going to bury you as an old man. So just a piece of shit. It's going to be on your headstone. Here lies a piece of shit. Scumbag Andy, a.k.a. David. Just reading some of the chat, guys. Sorry. Cool. Thanks, Jen. I see you there. Everybody's got a little conversation going. That's what I like about that. See you right now. You're not talking about me. You guys aren't talking about me. I'm just going to shut down chat. I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I got a cash app. Oh, oh okay. Hey, 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 okay. All right. Hey, cash app. Hey, I'm back. Thanks, guys. Cash app. Thank you. Yeah. Fucking nut bag. Ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, that's not look too. You know, when I look at in the mirror, it doesn't look too full. But uh, on screen, it, it and actually it's not too bad. Might start getting a little, little, little curly action here going on. I'm gonna have to start training the the edges a little bit. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the karma is definitely coming. It's, it's, it's have to, it's, I could feel it. I mean, honestly, when I was just in that town, that courthouse, I could feel the karma in there. It's, it's coming. Definitely. His days, his days are outnumbered, man. He put himself in that position. That's the thing. Okay. It's all him. Okay. This is not a guy that was put in that position because, you know, he didn't have a family to raise him. He came from a rough, you know, you know, his parents are alcoholics. Uh, mom was a hooker type of story. No, not at all. You know, he claims he's, you know, he was poor and this and that. You know, maybe they were not high income, mid income, low income. Low, a lot of people, I come from a family that was low to mid income as I was raised, you know, all my friends and we all turned out good, you know, um, so it, the class, you know, I, and I understand there are some, there are some, there are some areas and there are some classes that it's tough. You know, these, these are kids that are raised from tough neighborhoods, you know, no families, you know, dad's in jail. And I mean, it's, it's tough, but ski was not one of those people. 
He's had every opportunity like most people have in this world, okay? Um, he's put himself in these predicaments. I've seen some of those pictures he puts up, especially because he makes, and you know, that's shame on him for doing that, trying to make his parents seem like they didn't raise him right or, you know, this and that. He's such a liar. I've seen him post pictures when he was a little child. He, he dude's got like clean clothes on. He's got new shoes on. He's got his hairs done. You know what I mean? Maybe his parents couldn't afford to fix his ugly ass tooth, but hey, whatever. He can do it when he's an adult. Okay. But they gave that fucker every opportunity to grow up just like he could, you know, a good kid, and he didn't. I mean, his brother, I know his brother got in a little trouble early, but his brother a, seems like a pretty straight-edge guy. I've seen him talk on YouTube a few times. You know, the guy's dress is normal. He talks normal. He's got a job. He's got a family. got a house, you know. Um, he's got other relatives. They're, they're, they're not like him, you know. Um, he, he's a, he, he created him he created whom himself is and and don't get him don't let him con you he, you know this shit of oh this is a character an enigma hell no that ain't no character if anything he's hiding who he really is because he can't snap out at you okay <laughs> so yeah what you see is a character but he really is ski mask the piece of shit you know tough guy but only to his parents he ain't tough to anybody else he just bullies his parents that's it okay but yeah, he, he, he doesn't, you know, it's not like when that camera goes off, you know, hat comes off, you know, like Mr. Fucking Rogers, you know what I mean? Changing his little fucking pee jazz and, hey, mom, hey, dad, you know, come give me a hug and kiss before we go to bed. Hell no. That motherfucker's the same piece of shit, you know, probably doesn't even make eye contact with his parents, you know, just walks right into the kitchen, walks right into the fridge, grabs his fucking soda and. That's it. You know, walks right back into the bathroom. That's, 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 that's Ski's life right there. Let me show you. So here's what drives me crazy. Cannot pronounce one word that ends in, in G. Ing. <laughs> Have you ever seen, it's hilarious because the guy claims he's like educated. And I mean, he's not lying. He is lying about one thing. He does not have a bachelor's, okay? He's got an associate's in general studies. Big difference, okay? I mean, I'm not bagging him. I commend him for going to school and having a, an associate's. That's awesome. I mean, if anything, I, I feel bad for the fucker because he just wasted it. I'm sure he's never paid off the school loan. He doesn't give a shit. But I mean, if he finished school and he spent all that time, God damn, man, what a waste, man. You're not the brightest fucking person in the world. I'll tell you that, Ski. Uh, especially when you're always complaining about money, man. I mean, with an associate's, you can easily get a pretty good, decent, you know, entry level. Not even entry, just I'm, I'm saying entry into a good job. You know what I mean? Like, get your foot into the door of something nice and, like, within a year or two, you know, move up into something that's even better. But, damn. But, yeah, he did lie. He doesn't have – but, oh, where I was going with that is just – um, for a guy that's educated, then he likes to brag, you know, that he can talk and communicate with people. You ever seen his text messages? You can't even fucking understand. The guy writes like a fuck. It, it almost looks like if you're like six year old accidentally, like got a hold of your phone and just started playing with it. You know what I mean? That's how he texts. And he talks like that too. I mean, he makes up these big words. He thinks because he makes up these big words, that's like talking intellectually. But if you ever like listen to him, he, he sounds horrible. Okay. Have you guys, sorry, I'm eating these in front of you. Have you ever guys tried these um, nerd gummies? I am addicted to these things, man. If you have not tried these and you're a fan of nerds, whoo. Oh, man, I'm sorry if I if you haven't had these before and then you try them and you're addicted to them. I did not get you hooked on them, but they are delicious, man. Yeah, Jen, you've tried them. Man, they are good. <laughs> I get mad when I finish a box, and I'm not going to eat another box and pig out, but uh, I get sad when I get to my last one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. But, uh, yeah. He's, he's a horrible communicator, horrible writing out his text. Good Lord. You know, but whatever. But yeah, he, I mean, I can tell you he did, he did, you know, spend, he says he, which is weird because he, he says he uh, went to school for five years. I cannot see a, 
I cannot even see that happening. Like, I know there's no way it would take you five years to get an associates, but whatever, dude. And then, you know, people are going to be like, no, that's not what you meant. You got a bachelor. No, no, no. Yeah, of course, it would make more sense. Got an associate's and a bachelor's in about a four to five year period. But though he doesn't. He really does not have a bachelor's. He has an associate's. I've already, it's it's public information. I've, and I've already posted. I called them out on it one time. It's on one of my videos. Um, Is that the, oh, no, I think that's a different person. What's the lady's name that he just booted? I guess one of his big top mods. Uh, just left. Um, I don't know. Well, obviously, you probably know what the reason could be. But, uh, yep, the dominoes are falling. That's for sure. And, I mean, I guess, you know, a lot. Da that's right, Dawson. That's Dawson, Dawson. Um, I've even seen people, ladies in his chat that like her that are kind of like, uh, and so that's probably why, you know, I think because of that and the Dawson thing and then, you know, combination of that police report, He's definitely losing his losing his crowd, you know. Yeah, I've seen it, Jen. Oh my God, it's not even oh, that pisses me off. My mom used to get on me about my signature, so I get on people sometimes. And I'm not saying it has to be, you know, pretty, but legible, something that where you can identify. Hey, my name's, you know, D, D, you know, where you can kind of at least see that this fucker signs his shit like. I don't even know. It, it's just like a fucking line. Like, I don't know, but it's just, oh yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Almost like he does it on purpose. So people can't read a sin. And it's like, dude, there's a printed name on the top. Like the fuck are you talking about? But um, yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens. You know, anytime he loses one of those big mods of his, it always comes, you know, he, they always take, you know, a handful of his viewers with them. So We'll see. Actually, you know what? And you know what's hilarious is I saw not hilarious, but the other day he's horrible with his with his viewers. I I mean, I don't know if these people are like the type of people that like to get like choked and slapped while they're having sex. But my God, man, I saw him the other night. Let me tell you this story. This was fucking hilarious, man. And then what was crazy is I thought this lady was going to totally freak out on him and she did it. That just shows you total simpness. It's kind of like I said, you know, they want to accuse me of being a stalker. These ladies are stalkers. They're stage five clingers, okay? Anyways, here's what happens, right? Oh, no, no, no. This was just the other day. That's why I was listening to. This is kind of pisses me off, too. This lady, this lady was that one that actually started this kind of, like, accusation of, you know, oh, hey, Ski, we can get him for, like, uh, stalking and stuff. So, you know, as bad as I feel what he did for you. I almost just want to say F you, but I won't because I'm a nice guy. So if you want to come over to the right side, we won't judge you. You know, we have a good refugee program here at NJ Courts. But anyways, I forgot the name of her, but she is the one. She started the whole, oh, yeah, no, you're, he, it's it's harassment in this. So Ski asks her, of course, well, what do you mean? You know, can you tell me a story or, you know, reiterate on it? And um, she goes, she starts telling, and I guess she's one of the people in his chat that owns like a salon or beauty salon. So I don't know. Long story short, like some somebody was like kind of like going to her actual business and yada, yada, yada. So, you know, at this point, he's still letting her talk. It's a panel chat. OK, well, all of a sudden uh, she says, oh, I took him to court and I got them arrested or not arrested. I got them put in jail. OK. This motherfucker boots her off the panel chat, okay, and then like pretty much just says, oh, I don't like you anymore because uh, I don't think it's cool for you to, you know, lock those guys up just over uh, stalking. Did you just hear what he said? Those were his words that he literally didn't think it was cool for her to put two guys that were stalking her at work, serious stalking, in jail. <laughs> And then the craziest thing is he pretty much belittles her in front of the crowd. And this fucking nutbag, instead of just like, you know, saying fuck you and just leaving, she starts like apologizing to everybody. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, you're right, Ski. I shouldn't have. I should have allowed those men to stalk me and possibly hurt me. I should never have called the cops. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like. That's like I said, maybe these are the ladies I like a little, but that's not good, man. You know, but they're definitely a little kakui because, 
Man, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what's insane. They claim to be domestic violence survivors, and I'm like, what the fuck? You're a DV survivor hanging out in a fucking domestic fucking, he's the fucking giver of domestic violence. Holy shit. That's nuts. That's crazy. That, see, that's weird. You know what? That's almost like cult status right there. That's like why, the, you know, when you see, what was that cult? The one, the, I forgot the exact name, but they're the ones that, you know, they claim there was like the the certain like, you know, um, I think it was a comet or something that was going to be going by. And at that time, you know, that was when they, you know, pretty much if they committed suicide, that was when they were going to jump on the comet right of the planet. They're going to go, you know, imagine. And it was a lot of people being that radicalized and just brainwashed that that's what you believe in that you just end your life. So as fucked up as it sounds, I guess I can see the, it just makes no sense to me, but then I see stuff like that, you know, but yeah, I, I I've heard a lot of them that talk about domestic violence and I'm like, you're talking about that after I just, you know, read that's like me, like them after I just read this report about him fucking kicking his mom's fucking ninja, kicking a door in his mom. And then like saying, you know, Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, he did hit her, and that is domestic violence. But, I mean, we're okay with it, even though we're domestic violence survivors ourselves. That's crazy. That would never happen. A domestic, a real domestic violence survivor is not going to hang around a piece of shit or be interested in a piece of shit like fucking a ski mask. So either they're one lying, and I'm not trying to say that, but, you know, I just think it's very weird that somebody that's really a DV survivor would easily know and smell just – by the way, they see ski mask act easily know that the dude is not a good guy. You know, I would figure they would want nothing to be or close to him around him. But hey, like I said, if you've heard me before and explain that theory, there's always that one percent, the one percent theory. You know, there's always going to be a one out of ten that just blows your mind. So, well, that's about it. I don't know. Is Skiwi still up? Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I don't know. My phone was ringing here. Let's see. I think it was just uh, somebody going live. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. I'm just curious to see if they're... Oh, man, he's got all of them on there. Oh, not now. Let's see. I'm just curious to see how he's defending himself and how these ladies are. Oh, Ski, we they're lying. Don't worry. We believe you, Ski. You're still such a good guy. I mean, you know what's so disgusting about these ladies? They're doing it. They're doing it right now. He's got 151 people in his chat. So sick motherfuckers, man. Like I said, I mean, to view him, oh, well, some people find him entertaining. Some people are, he's a lol cow. I got to watch him to clip him. I don't really care about the viewers. That's on. But, you know, I'm reading just these messages right now, these ladies and yep, no, they're, I mean, honestly, I guess they're so sick. They just don't care. You know what I mean? They, they got to know it's true. There's no, you know, there's no saying, oh, that's a fake report. So at this point, this is just now, hey, I, they acknowledge that he kicked the door into his mom. They acknowledge that he broke his mom's shoulder. They acknowledge that he's a woman beater. They acknowledge that he's a, you know, he's the the hand in the domestic violence. He's the the fist. But they still want to be around him. They still want to support him. What can you do? But some sick people on this planet, huh? Yeah, I know. But man, it just blows me though. It blows I mean, it blows my mind. Even older. I I would think older people would be more wiser, right? I mean, God. Man. Yeah, I know. That that's, you know, mm, that's a good point, crime. You know, let's put that up. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you see that? That that shit ain't, you know, they they you know, you've seen some fictional stories and shit where they do stuff like that. But no, I've seen I've seen some of the shows and there's actually um, you know, there's like a Facebook for 
actually like almost like a prison Facebook, you know, where these women and men, vice versa. Uh, and I've seen mostly women, so I'm going to pick up the women at this part. But uh, that, but um, there, it's a way for them to communicate with uh, like a pen pal system with inmates, and a lot of, a lot of times it leads to an online relationship that leads to where I've seen them actually marry which they're allowed to in certain circumstances, they can have a legal marriage at the prison. So said, there's always that 1%. You know what I mean? There, There's always somebody for somebody, I guess. And I'm not saying anything wrong with that. You know, if that's your thing. If you find love, you're attracted to that. But, uh, and some of those guys, they're in jail. You know, maybe when they get out, they're going to change or they already did change. But man, um, damn. You know, yeah, and Jen's a smart girl, so it speaks about, he is good. He is good at what he does. I'm not going to say that. He is a good manipulator, definitely. He is, but I would figure, though, you know, being that they're not in the same type of relationship as she was with them, you know, I would easily figure, though, that them knowing the information that they do, that, you know, it's it's just easy to be like, yeah, you know what I mean? They, they, they don't have any, any you know, anything, the word I'm using, not really relationship, but any like t anything tied in with them, really, you know? This is not a physical relationship where, you know, they got a kid together and it's like, man, we're trying to, you know, as much fighting as we do, we're trying to work it out with each other just for the best of the kid or you know, something close to that. Okay. These ladies have never met him in person. You know, they may not even have his phone number to communicate. He doesn't even have an Instagram. So these are just people that fucking, you know, watch his videos. And these ladies are acting like they're just madly like infatuated with this motherfucker. And, you know, even if they know that he's committed all these crimes that they're, you know, he says jump, they jump, you know, but holy shit. You know, whatever, man. And and like you said, there there is that one percent. We've seen it right there where they fall in love with these murders and shit. But man, I I 160, 138 of them. Ah, oh, geez, that's scary. There's 138 people that you know don't see what he did is wrong. And like I said, I know a lot of those are just people watching. Well, you know, may not even like them, but let's just say even out of that 138, 25 of them are solid, hardcore, you know, you jump, I, you know, you tell me to jump, I jump, you know, type of people. That's even sick, though. I mean, just to know 25 individuals that don't give a shit, you know, that this guy fucking ninja kicked the door into his mom, and they're still going to fucking, you know, egg him on, be his yes man, yes girl, give him money so he can smoke it up in weed and, you know, sit there. All they are is just like little peanut gallery gossipers. That's all they do. They'll never come up when like, you know, just talk about something or bring them subject. They always have to wait for some. And that's why they were excited this weekend with all this shit, you know, and that's what I'm saying. They're such hypocrites. They're, they're saying, oh, he did that. Oh, that, that's no, that's so strange. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I would think, no. They are loving it. They're eating on that. I mean, it gives them the opportunity to just see, rant, rave, message. And so that's what I don't understand. They're like trying to talk all this shit, but yet they're just using it as an example to gossip, which is what they like, you know? And uh, God damn, it's crazy. What a fucking turn of events, huh? Just to match like some shithead like him with these like gullible people that just, you know, want to do gossip and this and that. And it worked out, you know, it's like, fucking discovering a, a, a new uh, potion, you know, vaccination for a disease or something like who would have known, you know, some guy that beats his mom, you know, would be able to, you know, pretty much infatuate or scan these women, you know, as a upright standing great guy. But hey, as long as people are still believing those scams where they get the letter that says like, Oh, uh, we found a uh, treasure chest in Nigeria with your name on it that must have belonged to your great, 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 great grandfather, Sir Charles III. And uh, in order for us to return it to you, you need to send a thousand dollars in a cash. Out, you know what I mean? Like, fuck out of here. But you see it. People still get scammed by that, you know? So, hey, if people are still falling for that shit, 
I guess, you know, Ski's going to have his little following still, no matter what we talk about, which, again, that's not my intention. I'm not trying to, like, oh, yeah, we're cutting his viewers. Out. My intention is just to expose and release this information because he is a piece of shit. And as long as I don't care if one person knows, as long as I'm not the only person that knows that this guy's a piece of shit, then I feel I've done my job. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. I would never want to hear something like that. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I know when he was talking about OnlyFans, I was like, dude, ain't nobody going to pay to see your little wankster on there. Fuck out of here. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So pretty much right now, what we're waiting on is just to hear. Actually, let me look up something while we're kind of at a wait. I want to see, I, I think I looked it up yesterday. Sometimes they update it pretty quick, especially since we're at the beginning of the week and not going in a weekend. So let's see if they've actually updated the uh, court date. Hold on. I thought I had this already up. Um, for this next hearing. Uh, 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 um. Oh, yeah. shit. I was on it. All right, cool. I thought it kicked me out of the whole thing. And I was like, no. Here we go. Let's check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, shit. Yeah, no, he was right. It's up. Yeah, no, that's exactly what he did. That little piece of shit. We're going to find out exactly. So pretty much it's the same hearing. It's a disposition misdemeanor. Which the disposition just means that it's their pretty much last chance to settle something before it goes to the trial. So, and that's what he had set on February 6th, yesterday. So, they literally, see, I think on Mondays, they have two days they do like the hearings. Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays is virtual. Mondays is in person. See, that, fuck you. And I forgot about that. That is the other thing. Hold on. Hold on. I just thought of something to confirm something here really quick. I just remembered something. You little shithead. Let's see. Criminal hearings <laughs> so we go to misdemeanor I'm pretty sure I saw that they only do one or the other on the certain days, okay? That's what I was looking for. So if it's scheduled for a Monday, that's I'm pretty certain that's the day where it is in person. So, like, for example, if it was, like, on a Wednesday, then I would know it's a virtual one. So being that this last one yesterday was yesterday, that means it wasn't in person. It wasn't virtual. I knew the court clerk wasn't going to lie. You little piece of shit. We already figured you out right now. So, yeah. It's they have already scheduled the next hearing for this. They rescheduled it for this Monday coming up. And again, it's on a Monday, so it's in person. So what he did was is he tried, he I don't well, I don't know. And what I'd like to know is what he told the lawyer. And I know it wasn't anything to do with me. So, like I said, the only thing I could even think of as to why they would ex give you an excuse is just COVID. You know, just short of you being in the hospital, you know, because you got in a fucking car wreck the day of or the day before. I think the only other excuse you can really have to just pull you out of that shit is, you know, saying you had COVID. So that is starting to kind of, you know, I am starting to kind of believe that theory a little bit more now. But yeah, his next hearing is scheduled for next Monday. Um, let me see if it's the same time again. Actually, I want to see if they put something. Hmm. 
because they give you a little description of what the notes are. It says from the 6th, which, you know, was yesterday, it says Judge Tanya Wilson, defendant present, not in custody, and represented by his lawyer, state represented by Kevin Finnegan, that's the prosecutor, disposition passed. See, that's the word. Passed. See, anytime the ones before, like the date before, it says disposition set. This says disposition passed to February 13th at 9 a.m. So I think this motherfucker really lied and called and told the, you know, the lawyer he had COVID last minute. Can you believe that? Why would you do that, ski mask? I mean, are you like literally, I mean, are you really like five foot and you're just afraid of like people are really going to see how tall you are? I mean, dude, I'm a short guy. Holy shit. You, I would have probably made you look a lot taller. I mean, I just don't understand why you would not show up and go through all this trouble because maybe they weren't going to give you the waiver. Okay. You didn't know that. They might've said, fuck it, you know, but you did all that trouble for what? Just because somebody was going to be outside of a courtroom just waiting to ask you uh, for an interview that you didn't have to say yes or no to? Like I told you before, I couldn't even like get in your way or fuck with you. There's fucking mad police. They were all standing right in front of the fucking courtroom door, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, you your intentions were a lot different than what they really were. And you just used me as a scapegoat, you know, as a, oh, I'm going to call and say COVID, but I'll tell all my viewers and girls that uh, it was, uh, you know, it was really me and you got me, you know, the lawyer said, because, you know, I'm a VIP and I shouldn't be expecting any harassment that, you know, they're going to set me for a VIP hearing next week. No, fuck no. I bet you your lawyer was pissed. Okay. I guarantee you your lawyer was pissed off. <laughs> man what a lying piece of shit that's so funny that is hilarious can you imagine that that all the fucking talk and shit and see that's the thing is is i don't want to give them any more credit not credit but just any you know more shout out because i that wasn't my intention going down there okay was to check him or anything it was to you know go to the hearing okay and um I mean, even if you want to even go down that route, I mean, the dude talked, he said he was going to kill me. He was going to find me. Uh, don't even step into Tulsa. Dude didn't do absolute shit. As a matter of fact, it sounds like he was so afraid. And that's why I'm asking, like, what were you afraid of, dude? What were you afraid of that you had to fucking pretty much commit contempt of court by lying and not showing up to your court hearing? And like I said, if the judge or this court clerk finds out about this, you know, they get catch one of your fucking VODs that, you know, you think you erased that somebody clipped and saved, showing you dancing and yelling and cussing and making all these threats the day of. Oh, yeah, they're not going to give you any mercy, bro. They're going to save content, put, send the fucking sheriff to drag your ass in the jail and, uh, you know, just an extra charge now that you got to figure out what to do on, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe you did that shit. You're just a fucking, you know what you're afraid of? You're afraid of jail, bro. That's it. You're just trying to buy as much time as you can before you go in there. Which is stupid. If I was you, I would have just gotten that shit over with because, like I said, it's 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 you're gonna have to face it at one point. You're gonna have to face it at one point, and it's not going away anytime soon. You know, you think just because ah, you know, I didn't do anything. I mean, that's his logic. That's his thinking. Y'all understand that, right? He thinks because he's extending this that you know, one more week, one more week, one. No, it's gonna end soon. There's no more extensions. It's it's D Day. Okay, just like I labeled the, uh, you know, I had on my title for for uh, Monday, you know, the live stream. It's 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 D Day, bro. It's and and the fact that now you put yourself in like the situation. Well, you are. I mean, I'm sure. Like I said, we already know you're not you're not going to take the plea. 
the fact that you're going to put yourself in the situation for a jury trial just because you're stubborn or you want to feel like, you know, oh, I got all my money's worth out of my lawyer. He's the one telling you to take the plea that I just don't understand why. And well, I do, because like I said, you'll do anything just to buy one more day of freedom, you know, which makes no sense because in reality, now you're just, it's just longer and longer. You're going to have to waste staying in jail, you know, um, you get it done the month, you know, one month sooner, that's two more months left. You know, you're just keep pushing it and pushing it, and pushing. It. Like I said, you got, I, I'm, I'm actually surprised they fell for that bullshit you know, COVID, but they did. So sadly, you got your hearing next week. I told you I'm not coming, but you're going to just, like I said, you're going to plead not guilty. Or, or excuse me, you're not going to take the plea and you're going to go to trial. And six people are going to judge you, bro. <laughs> and these aren't your viewers, okay? These are people that just, they're not your yes man or yes woman. These are people that know nothing about you. And all they're going to hear about from the prosecutor is just about your history, your record of beating women, of what you did, you know, the how serious, you know, the injuries were on your mom. Oh, man, dude, it's it's not going to be good, dude. That jury's going to look at you and they're going to see you as a scumbag, a total scumbag. And not only are they going to find you guilty, they're going to probably recommend that you get the maximum sentence, dog. <laughs> Yeah, going to a jury trial for a fucking misdemeanor. What a waste of fucking money. I'm actually, I guess they just, the court has to do it. But what a waste of money to drag six fucking people away from their job or their life, you know, just so they can sit there and, you know, watch fucking ski mask give or his lawyer just give any, you know, again, I'm not bagging the lawyer, but, you know, at that point, what can you do? What can you say? I mean, this isn't his first time. You know, you can't go with the, old, hey, you know, he didn't know better and we're going to, you know, he's going to learn from this experience and yada, 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 okay? Not even his second time, not even his third, okay? This this, this guy is just, like I said, I, I I guess the lawyer can't force him, can't put a, you know, a pew-pew to his head, but I, I think that lawyer probably knows, you know, there's just absolutely nothing you can do at this point, you know? He can just present the case as best as he can, but... He knows. He knows that there's just no way around it because of your history, you know, of what ski mask history looks like, okay? He's already had all the chances he could, and now he's just pushed it past that. So even the fucking lawyer probably thinks you should go to jail. <laughs> well, he's got a family and kids. You think he wants some yahoo like you running around the same town as his? So, yeah. And that was a mystery. I still don't believe it cost five grand. And say if it did, you had it. You 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 stole that from somewhere. I didn't have to use that word. You, uh, whatever, man. Whatever. That jury's going to fucking smoke you, bro. <sighs> Just for one more motherfucking month of smoking and joking. That's it. You dumbass. You literally could have gotten out by the time summer was going to start if you took the three fucking months, you idiot. And now you're literally going to start your fucking, your sentence right before the summer. The, you know, the the time to be out in Hollywood and driving and working your job as a celebrity YouTuber, you know. Yeah, buddy. You, you, <laughs> like I said, that's just ski logic and I guess I won't understand it, but. Whatever. Well, you know, that's enough of, 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 you know, allegations and figuring out what it may, may happen in the jury trial. We'll just have to wait, but we're going to be there. We're going to be there. And like I said, I'm going to work my best to try to see if I can request to, to be able to, um, you know, uh, film it, film it live. Like I said, all they can say is no, but we shall try. We shall definitely try. And uh, uh, at least we're going to get, you know, there ain't no fucking <laughs> saying I got COVID again on that day. You think they're going to fucking reschedule a, you know, a jury of six people. They just dragged in there and paid for that shit. Hell no. Hell no. So, you know what I mean? 
that's that's it. So, you know, you're going to have to face not only the jury, but like I said, I don't know why you're so afraid to just run past me, but we'll be there. So if you still want to say hi, flip me off, do nothing, that's fine. But there ain't no more making some excuse just because you don't want to. Like I said, I have no clue why you just didn't want to walk into the courtroom. If you want to say something, you could. If you didn't, you know, what was I going to do? Fuck with you? I never said that. You were the one that was going to hurt me. And plus, dude, you've been in that court. You've been in that court uh, house plenty of times. You see how many police and th people are up there? Ain't nobody going to be screwing around with you, man. You're so stupid. You're. I think that we all know you're just a pussy. And then you know what's even more funnier is this fucking pussy doesn't even go live the whole time, right? He waits till I post on my community board that I was like leaving uh, Tulsa. And then as soon as like I post that, boom, there goes the alert, ski mask up. And there we go. You know, there goes the mad shit talking, man. Just the pop, 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 pop. Typical ski. I knew that was going to happen, man. And I just thought it was funny how you just literally, it was like, you're watching me. Okay, is he gone? Is he gone? I post, you know, adios and bing, skis back up. <laughs> and you, all the shit you talked about, your fucking town, bro. Your town. You ain't even a Tulsan, bro. That's what they call people from Tulsa, the Tulsans. You ain't even a Tulsan. So fuck off. I probably spent more fucking time in Tulsa than you have over a week just over there, those two days, bro. I said, all you do is just walk your happy ass around the corner to the come and go. That's what you do. You know, that's it. That's it. So, yeah, that shit's hilarious, man. Trying to accuse me that I was um stalker and this and that. You all are fucking pathetic. Like I said, you got a lot of shit to worry about now, man. Last thing you need to worry about is me. Honestly, if I was you, I would just fucking nuke my channels and just start working on my case, man, or talk, figuring out what's going to go on. But geez, Louise, man, I don't know how you do it. If I was in your shoes right now, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I would be nervous. I wouldn't be able to eat. Um, <laughs> I mean, shit, dude, you're facing some serious time now. Like I said, it's, it's all you're doing. Nobody else's. You're the one that said, hey, I'm going to call in line, say I have COVID or whatever. And that's still an allegation. We don't know that yet, but we're gonna, it's all starting to make sense. But, um, you know, you, you're the one that said, hey, I'm not going to listen to my lawyer. Fuck it. And you're the one that's now put yourself in the jury hearing. So no, 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 no saying that it was, you know, old NJ. You know what I mean? Oh, man, it's NJ's fault. It's all NJ's. Nope. It's your fault, bucko. And honestly, uh, after reading that police report, you you deserve all that, man. Holy moly. <laughs> It, it just sounds horrible. I could just imagine, you know, geez, Louise, man. Anyways, so, well, that's pretty much about it, folks. I don't want to keep dragging, you know, stuff that's, you know, we've already talked about. Uh, I wanted to come on here and, you know, pretty much just discuss what we what we found out. And and uh, I even hate to word, use that word calling out or exposing. I like think it's just more as fact checking, you know. Um, like I said, most of us already kind of figured that it happened, how it happened in you, but you know, for the people that didn't, you know, I mean, especially the people that are newer into this, you know, this skis community or the ski I guess you would say, um, that may have just came in, you know, where he's just talking to all these drama ladies and, you know, all you're seeing is, oh, he's a nice guy and people just like to pick on him because he's ski mask. No, no. This guy has been a fucking, a serial fucking woman beaten, just domestic abuser since he was, like I said, 18, 17 years old. This has been 23 years of ongoing just bullshit, you know, hitting women, hitting moms. Um, I mean, literally, that's, that's it. We're going to find out. Like I said, remember we went over that little, you know, little child abuse uh, fee there, whatever that was about. So I'm curious to see what exactly happened in that incident because that's really, really strange, bro. Uh, and I mean, at this point, it really doesn't matter because just the fact that you fucking are a woman beater, that puts you in the same class as a pedophile and as all those other fucking, uh, you know, child molesters when you go into that jail. And that's why you're fucking so scared because you know, 
you know, as soon as they classify you as that, or if they find you out, you know, that you, the way you hit your mom or hurt your mom and you know how they will, right? Sometimes they're in the same type of trial or they're in the courtroom or they just hear, or like I said, with your big mouth, you're probably going to say, Hey, look it up. I'm ski mask Andy. When you get out of jail, Oh, not knowing that old homeboy, homeboy boofed a little smartphone up his, you know, and, uh, you know, <laughs> types in Ski Mask Andy. You want to know what the first video is when you type in Ski Mask Andy? I'll show you. Let's see. You go to videos. Oh, no. It was this one, actually. This is even better. I think it's if we do. Let's see. Well, yep, yeah, there it is. Guess what? When you type in, actually, you type in your name, bucko. There's the old ski mask film, right? Your old racist rant on Twitter. Remember that? That's not going to look too good to all the old uh, all the old prisoners there, huh? When you start ranting about how bad you hate the uh, African-American culture and this and that. And, you know, man. So, geez, Louise, bro. Like I said, it's it's looking bad for him. But anyways, you know, that's... That that's it. You know, I don't want to drag drag that too long. But um, yeah, we're we're gonna be heading, we're gonna be getting ready to go to the jury trial. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be heading to the court date. I'll probably see if I can get it streamed or anything like that. If it's gonna be, you know, sometimes they do stream out of the courthouse. Um, I know the New Jersey hearings got a lot of that stuff going on. I'm not too sure about Oklahoma, so we'll see. But either way, like I said, it's not gonna be. We'll see you later, LD. It's not going to be that exciting anyway. It's just going to be his lawyer saying, oh, we'll see you. Uh, we're, you know, we're not going to take the plea, and they just reschedule it. So that's the date that I care about. So, Ski, if you're watching, don't worry, bro. Like I said, I don't know where that rumor came out from. I guess somebody must have already seen that the new date posted or Ski knew it. So he just, you know, went with that as content, you know, just, ooh, let me tell the, you know, the, you know, my viewers that uh, he's coming. Never said that. Never once said that. Hell, I didn't even know the date till your next hearing till right now on live. So shit, you know what I mean? So yeah. So don't worry about that. Where we're going to go to, we're going to be there for the jury hearing. And that's the date that I care about. So we'll still find out what was said during that time. Hey, and anyways, if he wants to trick us, guess what? He really wants to trick us. Take the plea deal, buddy. Take the plea deal, Ski, if you want to trick me. Because then that means you go to jail that day. I can't come see, you know, I can't see you at your next court hearing. So it's either you take the plea deal or NJ Courts will be waiting for his interview like he's been wanting. So, and that's it. All right, folks. Well, uh, with that being said, uh, let's call it a night. I appreciate everybody coming in. Thank you for everybody in the chat. Thanks, Jen, for uh, taking care of moderating and all that. Um, everybody that I've talked to before about the moderating thing, uh, I'll get you as a moderator on, I guess, through the back way or just next chat. Uh, don't think it's because I'm not or I'm forgetting on purpose. Nothing. It's just like I said, I can't do it through, I guess, this platform. I have to do it through the YouTube, um, which I was kind of unaware of that. I thought I could. I thought I've actually. No, you're right. Because I was actually I assigned mod on my phone, not on the desktop. So, yeah, that makes sense now. So um, if, uh, you know, you didn't. Obviously, I didn't mod anybody tonight. It was not because. You know, I, I, I forgot or anything. It's just I can't do it on this program. So, uh, yeah, I just want to say good night to everybody. Uh, I know we went over a lot of stuff tonight. Some of you may have not liked what you heard, but it's the truth. I'm sorry. You know, um, it, it certainly is. And like I said, you know, I'm not judging people, but, um, you know, do what you want to do with the information. But, man, you know, I I. I you know, if you still want to continue to support this guy financially and you think it's funny for him to talk about running around beating people and beating women and this and that or threatening people's lives, well, I guess it's your choice. Remember, always that 1%, folks. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, you all have a nice evening. Um, 
I think the uh, next thing you can look forward out to is I'm going to be putting out that highlight clip I was telling you about of the whole trip and everything. Um, so uh, that should be a lot of fun. Now, that's going to be like a funnier type of clip. I don't want to make it too serious, especially after we've been gone, gone over a lot of this stuff. And then uh, pretty much next big projects are going to be getting ready for the, the jury trial hearing. So I'm going to start now, you know, with uh, pretty much getting all the things that I need to to apply for the, I guess, permission to, you know, set up a media type of setup or, you know, uh, I mean, it's just going to be me on my smartphone. So <laughs> they don't got to worry about equipment and lighting because it's in there. It says you got to have like certain like you can't have certain lighting and this and that. And hey. I'm just on a little smartphone. So, and if they say yes, hey, well, it's it's on like Donkey Kong. Like I said, I'll be ready for that time because I've already ordered and it's coming in soon. A really nice phone that's great for streaming. It's got a nice service provider, unlimited everything. So uh, I'm going to bring, you know, I, I'm going to be bringing you that trial um, in as best as the, you know, I can, you know, as far as my, excuse me, my equipment. And so, yeah, that's just going to be the next project coming up. And uh, like I said, we'll definitely do like a fundraising type of show or something exciting, whether it's another show or like a streaming event or something like that. And uh, we'll do a fundraiser for that. And uh, like I said, we have plenty of time. So uh, I'm not concerned about not making the goal and, and not attending. So uh, don't don't even worry about that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on. Look out for the highlight clip. Um, look out for the next date for the fundraiser and next big, you know, court hearing is going to be uh, the jury trial time. And like I said, that's probably going to mean about a month and a half and uh, we'll be out there. We'll be out doing the live coverage of that. So, all right, folks, we'll see you again. Um, uh, whenever we go live, look out for that clip and for moderating the chat today. Thank you everybody that came in today. Thank you for everybody that donated again. Like I said, that donation's just going, stays in that that account and uh, is just going to go straight towards the next uh, next uh, trip over to Tulsa. That's where we're headed, Tulsa, Oklahoma again, uh, round two. So, all right, folks, have a nice night. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in, all right? Take care.